Chapter 1361 You are you. You are not you translator. Born to be a black light suddenly whistled over at the chasing golden phoenix. Boom. Huge ripples appeared in space as the world shook. The phoenix let out a mournful cry as it was sent flying into the distance. A black pot flew back, and Long Chen caught it. The golden phoenix was tumbling through the air, seeming to have lost its balance. It smashed into a mountain, and that mountain was instantly ignited. As usual, the pot is mighty, praised Long Chen. Even the heaven incinerating flame couldn't damage the pot. During their collision, Long Chen had seen some of the rust on its bottom isolate the flame energy. Seeing that the pot couldn't be damaged by the heaven incinerating flame, Long Chen had an urge to chase after it to see if he could subdue it. But he saw that it wasn't injured at all. It was like it really had just been struck by a pot. After a moment's hesitation, Long Chen didn't go after it. Instead, he turned and fled. His brain told him that a greedy heart never had a good ending. Long Chen didn't have any assurance in subduing the golden phoenix. Even with the pot, his chances of victory were essentially zero. Moreover, even if he could beat it, he wouldn't be able to capture it. With Huo Long's current power, there was no way for it to eat such a tough piece of meat. The difference between them was too great. So Long Chen wisely chose to scram. This golden phoenix wasn't something he could currently provoke. As he rushed off, he heard furious bird cries from behind him. The phoenix was probably complaining about how he had gotten away. Long Chen rushed off for several hours before finding a gorge to hide himself in and rest. He looked at Huo Long, who was a bit depressed. The heaven incinerating flame had exhausted a great deal of its core energy. Just seeing it like this distressed Long Chen. Don't worry. I'll help you recover. We can find some weaker earth flames to devour. And once you're strong enough, we'll go get revenge against it. Long Chen summoned Huo Long and patted it on its head comfortingly. Long Chen began to advance slower. Although he didn't change his general direction, now he was constantly searching for earth flames for Huo Long to devour. Fortunately, Huo Long had sharp senses and could easily sense the presence of earth flame spirit beasts. In just half a day, Huo Long had devoured four weaker earth flame spirit beasts, allowing it to recover the majority of its core energy, in order to increase their efficiency. After recovering, Huo Long summoned three split bodies, which went off to search for even more earth flame spirit beasts. Long Chen suddenly became ecstatic. Huo Long's split bodies were all true bodies and possessed their own spiritual strength. They could handle danger and fight on their own. Long Chen worked together with Huo Long for a whole day, allowing it to devour seven powerful earth flame spirit beasts. Two of them had decent rankings that allowed Huo Long to not only fully recover, but also grow stronger. Long Chen had Huo Long release its eight split bodies. Those split bodies were to go out on their own and hunt earth flame spirit beasts while Huo Long's true body stayed with Long Chen. Huo Long's split bodies had half the power of the true body but their intelligence was the same. As long as they were careful, they could continuously devour earth flames and grow stronger. During this time, Long Chen would go after the Nirvana scripture. They couldn't waste any time. Huo Long's split bodies had sharp senses and could sense danger from a great distance. Even if four of the split bodies were eliminated, as long as the other four returned after devouring earth flames, the gains would definitely make up for the losses. Following Long Chen's directions, eight small flame dragons split up, while Long Chen rushed into the depths of the heaven dragon flame region with Huo Long's true body. This time, Long Chen didn't dare to randomly rush around. He had Huo Long go completely straight because he didn't want to run into anything as monstrous as the heaven incinerating flame again. When they ran into weaker earth flame spirit beasts, Huo Long would conveniently devour them. If they were equally matched or stronger, they would go around them. One month could be described as a long time or a short time. However, since Long Chen had to find the tablet within this period, he had to rush. When Long Chen finally arrived at the place the pill fairy had marked, he saw that it was a land of red dirt, which emitted flame fluctuations. There was a canyon ahead, and upon entering, he went through nine turns before seeing a huge stone tablet. The tablet was so huge that there was no way to clearly see its complete body. Light revolved over it, while it emitted a primeval aura. 
Seeing this tablet, Long Chen's heart suddenly turned calm. Everything else in the world fell away, and the only thing left was this stone tablet. He slowly walked over. His hand lightly touched its inscriptions. For some unknown reason, his hand was trembling, and he suddenly realized he was crying. Why does this tablet seem so familiar? Long Chen lightly brushed against the inscriptions. It felt like there were some sealed memories in his head, but he couldn't recall them. You've finally come. Just at this moment, a voice rang out in Long Chen's mind. Light enveloped him from the tablet, and he suddenly appeared in a starry sky. There were stars above and below him. He was standing within space. Here, it felt like the flow of time was constantly changing. He didn't even know what exactly he was feeling. Can you turn around and give me a good look at you? A voice rang out. It was a very gentle voice, and it sounded like heavenly music. However, it also sounded extremely distant, so distant that it was as if it came from a different space time. Long Chen slowly turned. He saw an illusory figure behind him that he was able to see clearly. It was a peerless beauty. Ripples floated out of her in a mysterious and profound manner. Even after seeing her clearly, he suddenly felt like he could no longer see her so clearly. He was unable to sense her existence. The things that gave him the greatest impression were her limpid eyes. Her eyes were serene and kind, making him feel a burst of warmth. Senior, you. Long Chen opened his mouth, but his voice was somewhat choked with sobs. His tears still continued flowing out of his control. The woman sighed sadly. You are you. You are not you. You are one. You are not one. The voice was transmitted into his ears. Yet Long Chen found that it wasn't a true voice, but a special kind of energy being read by his divine sense. Although they were facing each other, Long Chen felt like they were isolated by a boundless space, or perhaps by boundless time. She didn't come from the present. She came from the past, or perhaps the future. Just what was going on? Why did this woman feel so intimate to him, yet also fill him with sorrow? You are. Long Chen suddenly recalled an image. Within the void, a peerless expert with nine stars in his eyes and a divine ring behind him fought fiercely against his opponent. At that time, there had been a person behind him, but Long Chen had only gotten a glance. However, he felt that it was a woman. For some reason, he connected this woman with that woman. Senior, can you hear my voice? Asked Long Chen. Nine stars against the heavens. The heavens collapse. Gods fall and blood dyes the sky red. The peak of power? The peak of the Tao? To defy the heavens. Is this the final result? The woman muttered to herself as she looked at Long Chen. The stars in the void suddenly began to shake. They started to rapidly move through the air as they trembled. Perhaps it's right. Perhaps it's wrong. Whether it's right or wrong, what harm is there in it? You will always have that unbending nature. I can only silently stand beside you. The woman suddenly reached and held Long Chen's cheeks. However, her hands were unable to touch him. They simply floated above him as her body began to fade. Can I ask who? That woman didn't seem to hear him. She vanished and Long Chen's heart turned cold. He didn't know what had just happened. Just at this moment, countless runes lit up around him. One after another, they entered his head. Chanting shook the starry sky. Long Chen's heart jumped as the voice of the person chanting was the voice of the woman just now. Each syllable, each inflection, each bit of it was hallowed and profound. As the chanting continued, the world began to spin. The stars rose and fell. It was like the world was following the scripture. The total scripture wasn't long. It only had a few dozen syllables to it. But just this short scripture contained boundless profundities. It formed a never-ending cycle with no end or beginning. Yet. Despite how profound it was, Long Chen felt it to be very familiar, as if he had long since mastered it but simply forgotten it. Now that he heard it again, he immediately comprehended its essence. Suddenly, the scene around him faded, and he once more appeared in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Just as he reappeared, the huge stone tablet suddenly seemed to go through millions and millions of years of erosion. It crumbled. The tablet fell to pieces and the pieces then faded into dust, vanishing. It was like it had never existed. Long Chen just stared, unable to calm himself. It seemed that he had touched one of the secrets of this world. An unprecedented feeling of crisis filled him. 
He found it hard to breathe. I can't bother with this now. Since I've obtained the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, it's time to remove this damn curse. Long Chen took a deep breath and slowly formed a hand seal. Chapter 1362 Getting rid of the curse translator. Born to be Long Chen had just formed a hand seal when he suddenly felt danger. He hastily turned around and saw a figure rushing over. Ha ha ha, Long San, you're here as expected. Now let's see where you can run. It was a flame wrapped Jiang Zijin. Long Chen was startled. He hadn't expected Jiang Zijin to find him here. Are you surprised? Did you think Zhao Xiang was on your side? Ha ha ha, you can buy our people, but we can buy your people too laughed Jiang Zijin. Did that idiot Kan Dongs think sending a few people disguised as you would manage to trick me? What a joke. Kan Dongs wanted to follow me, but he didn't expect me to use a few body doubles as well. I knew you would come here. Tell me, where is the tablet? If you tell the truth, I'll consider giving you an easy death. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. It seemed Zhao Xiang had been bribed by the other side. But Zhao Xiang had only been looking after him until he joined the Divine Pill Hall. Afterward, they hadn't interacted at all. For others to get a bit of information from Zhao Xiang wasn't difficult. And Long Chen had truly mentioned the second volume of the Nirvana scripture to Zhao Xiang. Jiang Zijin had very likely deduced that Long Chen would come here based on that. It seemed it wasn't just the Pill Fairy who knew about the tablet's existence. Jiang Zijin was surprised to see that the tablet had vanished, so he demanded to know what had happened. I'm not your father, so why do I have to answer you? sneered Long Chen. This was the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Here, he didn't need to have any misjivings. Haha, <laughs> hopefully once I capture you, you can still laugh. Jiang Zijin laughed. Nine flowers appeared behind him, and the flames around him suddenly grew, seeming to want to burn down the heavens. I'll let you experience the power of my new flame. This is a power someone like you wouldn't be able to achieve in your lifetime. Jiang Zijin waved his hand, and a dark red spear appeared. This spear had plum blossom patterns on it. This is a peak existence. Ranked 13th on the Earth Flame Ranking. The Scarlet Plum Explosive Flame. Has a country bumpkin like you even heard of it. Jiang Zijin didn't immediately attack. Instead, he stood there showing off his power, acting as if he were a god looking down on Long Chen. This flame was something he had worked bitterly to subdue in the past few days. Amongst earth flames, those that contained the word explosive in their names were all extremely berserk and hard to subdue. Those were the kinds of flames that flame cultivators wanted to get, while alchemists would wisely choose a different one. That was because such violent flames would require even greater spiritual strength to control. However, flame cultivators who pursued destructive power were different. Be careful. I wouldn't want you to be killed in one blow, or it'd be boring. With the scarlet plum explosive flame causing the void to quiver, Jiang Zijin stamped forward, his spear whistling toward Long Chen. Long Chen waved his hand, and a flame blade condensed. He slashed it at the spear. HMPH. An insect really doesn't know its power. Jiang Zijin sneered and poured in even more energy to his spear. Boom. Long Chen's flame blade exploded. Huo Long's current power wasn't enough to handle Jiang Zijin's earth flame. With its power divided between eight split bodies, its own power dropped. However, Long Chen possessed his own power. He had long since expected this result, and as his flame blade exploded, he smashed his fist at Jiang Zijin. Jiang Zijin was startled and suddenly recalled that Long San was famed for his strong physical body. He hastily blocked with his spear. Flames exploded. Long Chen's punch destroyed Jiang Zijin's spear, and fist continued to strike his chest. Raging flame armor. Jiang Zijin hastily shouted, and runes came out of the nine flowers behind him, forming a layer of armor. Boom. Long Chen's fist landed, and Jiang Zijin was sent flying. But Long Chen's fist was also covered in blood. The raging flame armor was one of Pill Valley's powerful magical arts. When Jiang Zijin used it with the Scarlet Plum Explosive Flame, its defensive power was extremely great, enough to cause Long Chen's fist to be injured while Jiang Zijin escaped unscathed. Die. Jiang Zijin was infuriated. Although the punch didn't injure him, it had been unpleasant. Seeing Long San injured, he attacked. 
It really is annoying to not be able to use my power. Long Chen suddenly formed hand seals. A solemn expression on his face. He began to chant. And the same chanting began to appear in the air as if gods were chanting alongside him. The second volume of the Nirvana scripture? Impossible. Jiang Zijin's expression changed. It had to be known that the second volume of the Nirvana scripture was something only given to supreme geniuses in Pill Valley. Only those who had reached the level of Tower Masters were qualified to learn in it. Even Rank 8 Celestials weren't qualified. As for Jiang Zijin, he had had to make an application to learn it. And this application had gone through the Grand Elders as well as the Valley Master before he had finally been approved. The whole process had taken half a year. Long San had only been in Pill Valley for such a short amount of time. There was no way he was qualified to learn the second volume of the Nirvana scripture. Unless, Jiang Zijin suddenly thought of the scripture's original tablet that had vanished from this location. A shocked expression crept over his face. Boom. Jiang Zijin's spear arrived and struck nothing but air. Long Chen had simply retreated. Long Chen was surrounded by runes, and sacred chanting filled the air. But at this time, Black Chi was coming out of his body. That Chi gave off an evil feeling. Jiang Zijin was appalled. That Black Chi gave him a sensation of mortal danger, and he felt like he would die just from touching it. He involuntarily retreated into the distance, not daring to get close. His survival instincts told him that the current Long San was extremely dangerous. More and more Black Chi appeared. It was like mist surrounding Long Chen. It was enveloped by flames and refused to scatter. He, I can finally get rid of this damn curse. When he previously used the first volume of the Nirvana scripture, Long Chen hadn't felt anything particularly special. But now, all his immortal platforms linked up with some kind of energy in the world, forming a resonance. Before, he could only feel the Nirvana scripture gathering energy around him, but now he felt like he had merged with the world. The world's flame energy was merging with his body. It felt like he was boiling from the inside. The flame energy entered his spirit blood, his muscles, his skeleton, and even his soul. The curse was forced out. Furthermore, when he felt this sensation of merging with the world, a new segment of words appeared in his mind. When those words appeared, Long Chen almost cried out in joy. The fifth star's pill formula. It's the fifth star's pill formula. Long Chen was ecstatic. He had finally obtained the pill formula for the fifth star. As the curse was fully expelled from his body, his aura began to climb. The black mist was suddenly blown apart and vanished without a trace. Jiang Zijin looked at Long Chen with shock. He didn't know what had happened, but he felt like he was facing a dragon that had woken from hibernation. With the curse lifted, Long Chen slowly circulated the power of his immortal platforms to nourish his body. During his advancements to the 10th, 11th, and 12th heaven stages, the curse had made it so he couldn't use his spiritual yuan to nourish his body. Now he was making up for it. A huge amount of energy poured throughout Long Chen's body, causing the space around him to shake. The ground splintered and cracks spread into the distance. That pulse of energy lasted for just a few seconds before stopping. Long Chen looked at his hand. He muttered to himself. I can only use 10% of my power, but that's enough to handle trash I suppose. Although the curse had been removed, and his physical body had powered up, he was still only able to use a tenth of the power of his immortal platforms. If he used any more, his body would break down. Bastard, don't think you can scam me. Die. Jiang Zijin was infuriated at hearing Long Chen call him trash. He charged forward Novaloon.com a flame-wrapped fist directly blew apart Jiang Zijin's spear and continued to strike him in the chest. Jiang Zijin still had his raging flame armor, but this time, Long Chen's punch left a hole in his chest. Jiang Zijin vomited blood and flew back. Chapter 1363 The Terrifying Kudajiang Translator Born to be a long ditch appeared in the solid ground. Jiang Zijin hacked up blood as he lay atop a large rock that was now riddled with cracks. Fortunately, he had Pill Valley's secret technique, the raging flame armor. If it had been an ordinary flame defense, then considering how weak an alchemist's body was, he'd definitely have died. Long Chen continued to go after him, launching another punch. Heaven and earth shook as he advanced. 
Lord Brahma shield. Jiang Zijin formed hand seals, and his flame runes blazed with blinding light, turning into flame chains that wove together, forming a large shield. Chanting filled the air, and flame energy poured into the shield. It was sacred and divine. Long Chen's fist landed atop the shield. Flame runes blew back, and ripples appeared in the air. When those ripples reached the ground, the ground crumbled. However, Long Chen was unable to break the shield. Jiang Zijin gained some breathing room, and he once more attacked Long Chen, stabbing a spear at his heart. Long Chen kicked the spear and borrowed the power to fly back. A burning pain came from his foot. This bastard's earth flame is too powerful. Huo Long isn't strong enough to resist it. Long Chen knew that the difference in the power of their flames was too great. Long San, I know you're powerful at close range combat, but I won't give you a chance to get close. You're just trash. Jiang Zijin held a shield in his left hand and a spear in his right hand. The nine flowers behind him revolved. Flame energy raged as his heavenly darunes merged with his flame runes. Die. Jiang Zijin thrust his spear forward. A sea of flames followed his spear, crashing over Long Chen. Scarlet Blaze Shield. Long Chen also summoned a shield, but his technique was instantly broken by the spear. The intense flames devoured him. Long Chen conjured flame armor to protect himself. He then broke the flame spear with a punch. While he activated his boots to charge forward at Jiang Zijin. Idiot. I won't let you get close. Jiang Zijin sneered. He retreated. Spreading his flame domain. Everything within a hundred miles was covered in his flames. Long Chen's expression was grave as he charged through this flame sea. Jiang Zijin's flames were too powerful. He had to expend a great deal of spiritual yuan just to resist the flame domain. The difference in their flames was so great that he was expending hundreds of times the energy Jiang Zijin was. Even with his huge amount of spiritual yuan, Long Chen wouldn't necessarily be able to exhaust him. After all, Jiang Zijin was a Jade Core expert. Furthermore, an alchemist had a much vaster amount of spiritual yuan than normal cultivators. So Long Chen had no assurance of being able to exhaust him. Seeing Jiang Zijin retreating and occasionally launching attacks to keep him back, it was clear he had seen through Long Chen's weak point. Since that's the case, then let's go all out. Long Chen suddenly extended a hand. A sphere condensed in his hand, and chanting filled the air. The sphere rapidly grew larger. Just as Long Chen summoned this sphere, Jiang Zijin was shocked to find that when Long Chen used the Nirvana scripture, not only was heaven and earth's flame energy drawn toward him, but even his own flames were being sucked away. Starfall. The sphere in his hand had grown to 300 meters almost instantly. It shot toward Jiang Zijin. This terrifying move was summoned so quickly that it even surprised Long Chen. He was experiencing just how powerful the second volume of the Nirvana scripture was. When he used it, all the flame energy in the world became his. Here in Jiang Zijin's flame domain, he even benefited from his flame energy. Lord Brahma Shield. The shield in Jiang Zijin's hand rapidly grew. It was like a huge mountain blocking starfall. Boom. Flame energy exploded and ripples spread. Seeing this, Long Chen's expression changed, and he hastily summoned the blazing dragon cauldron and hid himself inside at Novaloon.com. Those ripples struck the runic barrier the blazing dragon cauldron had summoned around it and it was instantly sent flying like a shooting star. The blazing dragon cauldron pierced straight through a mountain and rolled a great distance. Long Chen crawled out and vomited. What he vomited wasn't blood, but vomit. The blazing dragon cauldron had protected him, but in that instant, he had been spun dozens of times, so he was dizzy. The feeling of the world spinning around him faded after a breath. He picked up the blazing dragon cauldron and rushed back to the battlefield. He actually got away. Long Chen didn't see any sign of Jiang Zijin upon returning to the battlefield. The power of that explosion just now had been too terrifying. According to reason, Starfall shouldn't have possessed that much power. After all, he had used it very quickly. The main problem was that Starfall had collided with Jiang Zijin's flame energy. It was like a spear clashing against a spear. Energies from the same source attacking each other immediately caused an explosion. Long Chen searched all around but didn't find a trace of Jiang Zijin. When he looked in the primal chaos space, he didn't see a rank 9 heavenly Dao fruit on the tree. 
That meant he had escaped. He supposed that Jiang Zijin was pretty tough to be able to survive such an explosion. Even Long Chen would have been blown to bits without the blazing dragon cauldron and in his current state of not being able to fully use his spiritual yuan. If even Long Chen couldn't handle it, then an alchemist would be annihilated without question. However, Jiang Zijin had managed to escape. It seems that bastard has quite a few trump cards. Long Chen sighed, but his expression suddenly changed. Lightning wings appeared on his back, and he rushed off. Ha ha ha, Long San, there's no need to run. Not a single person has managed to get away when I want them dead. A huge figure appeared in the sky. His laughter was like thunder. It was the flame divine palaces Kudajiang. Kudajiang's eyes were shining coldly like two sharp blades. Two huge flame wings flapped on his back, bringing him rapidly closer. Long Chen's scalp turned numb. Kudajiang possessed boundless power. He was like a crazy beast raging with killing intent. Long San, you killed my brother Kuchunsheng. Hand over your life. Kudajiang's wings suddenly stopped moving. He vanished from his original location and appeared in front of Long Chen, a hand reaching for his throat. You think you're qualified to take my life. Although Long Chen had felt Ku Jiang's hostility from the start, he hadn't expected this large man to be Ku Chunchen's brother. Ku Chunchen had been a little pretty boy, and the two of them looked completely different. It seemed their father had quite a bit of skill. Long Chen snorted and smashed a fist at Ku Jiang's hand. Boom. Long Chen was actually blown back, his wrist almost broken. HMPH, you have a bit of power, but it's not enough in front of me. Ku Jiang shot after him. It was like he had teleported, and he arrived in front of Long Chen instantly, smashing a fist at him. Boom. What greeted him wasn't Long Chen's fist, but a cauldron. An immense power caused his body to tremble, and he was knocked back a few hundred meters. Flame runes flew through the air as the cauldron was also sent flying. An ancestral item. Ku Jiang was surprised, but the cauldron had already flown into the distance. He snorted and didn't chase it. Instead, he charged at a distant figure. You won't get away. Ku Jiang's wings once more appeared and he caught up to Long Chen quickly. He smashed his fist at him. However, what caused his expression to change was that this figure instantly exploded. Bastard. You think you can slip away? Ku Jiang's expression was unsightly now. He had been duped. This figure had been nothing more than something formed of flame energy. Long San had definitely escaped with the cauldron. Ahh Ku Jiang roared and shot off in the direction the cauldron had gone. In an incense stick's worth of time, he finally saw a figure rapidly rushing away. It was Long Chen. You won't get away. I'll make you pay a price for fooling me. I'll let you know what it means to live a life worse than death, roared Ku Jiang as he got closer and closer. Long Chen was extremely vexed. After beating a jackal, a tiger suddenly came after him. Ku Jiang was no alchemist. He was a true flame cultivator and a rank 9 jade core celestial. All of that, combined with his extremely powerful physical body, made him a real expert. Right now, Long Chen was just at the peak of foundation forging and he couldn't even use his full power. As he didn't have the ability to fight Ku Jiang, he could only run. Unfortunately, Ku Jiang was even faster than him. Seeing him get closer, Long Chen prepared to take out the pot. Although Long Chen couldn't unleash the power of the pot, its hardness was definitely unmatched. Using it in a sudden attack wouldn't necessarily allow him to defeat Ku Jiang, but if he could catch him off guard, he might be able to use it to escape. Nevertheless, once he used it, his identity as Long San would be over. This pot was far too easily recognized. Just as Long Chen was preparing to take this risk, a message came from Huo Long that delighted him. Chapter 1364 Divine Flame Crystals Translator Born to be Ku Jiang's wings flapped as he chased after Long Chen, getting closer and closer. Just as he was on the verge of locking onto him, a flame dragon appeared in front of him. The flame dragon appeared extremely suddenly and devoured Ku Jiang before he could react. He was about to circulate his flame energy to resist this powerful earth flame spirit beast when it suddenly self-destructed, blowing him away. Ku Jiang appeared with nine flowers behind him. 
the self-destruction of the flame dragon hadn't harmed him at all. However, he now had a cold and sinister expression. With a snort, he continued chasing after Long Chen. This was the Heaven Dragon Flame region, and the senses of flame cultivators were a hundred times sharper here than in the outside world. Fuck, the difference is too great. Long Chen cursed inside when he saw Kuo Dejiang still chasing. Just now, one of Huo Long's split bodies had been close by, and Huo Long had sent it to block Kuo Dejiang, even sacrificing it to stop him. But Kuo Dejiang was completely fine. Long Chen realized just how bad the situation was. Flame cultivators were true experts, and their power was far, far greater than alchemists. Moreover, Kuo Dejiang wasn't just a flame cultivator, he was a rank 9 Jade Core Celestial. Kuo Dejiang was getting closer, his wings clearly had some sort of special energy within them, or there was no way he could be so fast. Clenching his teeth, Long Chen suddenly spun around smashing the blazing dragon cauldron at Kuo Dejiang. HMPH, nothing more than a death struggle, sneered Kuo Dejiang. He let out a single punch, not even bothering to summon his manifestation. In his eyes, Long San wasn't worth him wasting the effort. Is that so? Long Chen smiled coldly. His sleeve suddenly exploded, and blood dripped down his arm. A fierce, violent power smashed into Kuo Dejiang. Kuo Dejiang was shocked. He sensed Long San's power had at least doubled from his previous peak. Kuo Dejiang's wrist broke and he shot back like a shooting star hundreds of miles away. Long Chen was covered in blood after this attack. He immediately turned and fled. Just now, he had used 30% of the power of his immortal platforms, but his body had been unable to bear it. Just this one attack allowed Long Chen to see the difference. Even taking such a risk had only broken Kuo Dejiang's wrist. It was barely an injury to a celestial. Furthermore, Kuo Dejiang hadn't even been using his manifestation, let alone his trump cards. Long Chen wasn't his match. Ha ha ha, interesting. At just the foundation forging realm, you already have such power. This will make the hunt more fun. Kuo Dejiang laughed. That laughter was hair-raising. It was like he was playing a game of cat and mouse, and he continued chasing Long Chen. Long Chen's expression sank. The situation was extremely unfavorable for him. If this continued, he really might be killed. The feeling of having power but not being able to use it was truly irritating. However, he also knew that even if he could use his full power, his chances of victory would still be extremely low. To fight a rank 9 celestial across realms was essentially impossible. Long Chen was constantly looking around as he fled. His eyes suddenly brightened, and he immediately changed directions. Long San, I'll chase you until you know despair. There's no place for you to go, neither the heavens nor hell. Kuo Dejiang was still getting closer. He laughed sinisterly. He delighted in seeing the expressions of despair and unwillingness on the people he killed right before their deaths. He had barely finished speaking when Long Chen suddenly hurled himself at a large mountain. He pierced a hole into it. At the same time, a flame sphere exploded from ahead. That was something Long Chen had thrown right before. After the flame sphere exploded, the ground split open, and lava spurted into the air. A huge golden phoenix flew out of the lava. The first thing the phoenix saw was Kuo Dejiang rushing in its direction. It let out a heaven-shaking cry and shot at him. Kuo Dejiang had been flabbergasted by Long Chen's sudden actions, but when he saw this golden phoenix, he immediately turned pale. Heaven incinerating flame. Kuo Dejiang couldn't bother with Long Chen. He immediately turned and ran. However, the infuriated phoenix refused to let him off. It thought that Kuo Dejiang had intentionally provoked it, and it chased him. Kuo Dejiang was infuriated at being schemed against by Long San. It had clearly been Long San's attack, but somehow the blame had fallen on him. He wanted to say that Long San was right there but an earth flame spirit beast's intelligence was limited. There was no way it would understand him. As an extremely powerful flame cultivator, he naturally knew what this golden phoenix was. And since he knew what it was, he also knew he had to run. A man and a bird flew into the distance as quick as lightning. Only then did Long Chen come out of his hole. He carried out a head-sized crystal. The crystal was fiery red and emitted a bewitching light. Long Chen had a delighted expression. 
This is a divine flame crystal, something that contains the purest flame energy of the world. I didn't expect to find such a treasure here. Long Chen hesitated for a moment, looking in the direction Ku Jiang had fled. He prayed inside that he could last for a bit longer. Then Long Chen dove into the lava the golden phoenix had flown out of, wrapping himself in flame energy. He swam down, dozens of meters below. He found another divine flame crystal. He delightedly extracted it. This divine flame crystal was extremely miraculous. Despite containing an immense amount of flame energy, it didn't release any heat and was lustrous like a gem. The terrifying energy within it didn't leak out at all. Continuing to swim down, he gathered over ten of these crystals. His smile threatened to break his mouth. The deeper he went, the more divine flame crystals he found. By the time he had reached a depth of 3,000 meters, he had obtained over 300 of them. Huo Long was indescribably excited. It was wrapped around a divine flame crystal in the primal chaos space, absorbing its energy. The amount of energy inside it was too terrifying, and without any experience, Huo Long lost control, and a 3,000 mile stretch of huge trees was incinerated. Huo Long was horrified, thinking it had caused a huge calamity. Long Chen comforted it. Right now, the iron spruce oaks in the primal chaos space were almost useless to him. Incinerating a few was no problem. Long Chen had Huo Long focus on absorbing the divine flame crystal's energy while he continued gathering more. He needed to gather as many as possible before the golden phoenix returned. As he dug, he suddenly noticed that in an even deeper place, there was a huge cave opening. When he went down there, he gasped. This cave, which was thousands of meters wide, was lined completely in divine flame crystals. There was no way to estimate how many of them there were. I'm rich. A roar erupted in Long Chen's heart. Just a single divine flame crystal was enough to cause countless alchemists to go crazy in the outside world. Then what about this many? Divine flame crystals could be likened to the highest possible grade of flame spirit stones. Flame cultivators could absorb their energy to increase their cultivation speed. Furthermore, they could be used to forge powerful flame attribute weapons. When the blazing dragon cauldron saw the divine flame crystals, it immediately begged for one. The blazing dragon cauldron and Huo Long were currently absorbing the energy from one each. These divine flame crystals were priceless treasures to them. As for Long Chen, seeing these divine flame crystals, his see a treasure and can't walk away disease struck again. He charged toward the cave's walls. However, he had only just moved when his expression completely changed. He sensed grave danger approaching. His intuition was telling him that the golden phoenix was rapidly approaching. Little treasures, don't worry, I'll return soon. Long Chen unwillingly left the cave of divine flame crystals. Although he was unwilling, he had to flee. If the golden phoenix blocked his path, he'd be dead. Long Chen hastily flew out of the lava. Just a few breaths later, the golden phoenix returned. It circled its territory for a moment before diving into the lava again. Ku Jiang was lying in a mountain cave, his whole body charred and smelling like meat that had been cooked 70%. If you added some cumin and hot pepper, it would definitely be enticing. How hateful. Ku Jiang was racked with pain. The golden phoenix itself wasn't too powerful, but its flames were terrifying. Whatever they touched would ignite. Although he had managed to escape. The heaven incinerating flame had turned him into roast pork. Long San. He. Excellent. I didn't expect you to bring me such a windfall. As thanks. I'll make sure to give you a quick death next time. Ku Jiang smiled. But he had forgotten that his whole body was burned. Smiling tugged on his facial muscles. Causing him to tear up in pain. Long Chen was flying. He found a mountain stream and immediately dug a hole. Concealing the outside. Confirming there were no obvious signs of his presence, he finally relaxed slightly. It's about time to condense the fifth star. Let's see if I can refine the fifth star's pill formula right away. Long Chen closed his eyes. After he had used the second volume of the Nirvana scripture to wipe away the curse, some new memories had appeared in his mind. He finally had a chance to go through them. How could it be like this? Long Chen was shocked by what he saw. Chapter 1365 Condensing the Divine Gate Star Translator
born to be the fifth star's pill formula had truly appeared in his mind. But what shocked Long Chen was that the fifth star wasn't condensed with medicinal pills. The fifth star was named the Divine Gate Star. His first four stars were located at his hands and feet. But the fifth star was located in his head. When Long Chen realized where it was located, his face turned green. Whether it was the Feng Fu, Aliath, Life Fate, or Enlightenment Palace Star, when they had been condensed, a huge amount of energy had erupted. Last time, when he had condensed the Enlightenment Palace Star, the violent energy had shattered a mountain. The fifth star was located in his head. Hence, Long Chen wondered if his head would explode when he condensed the star. If these memories didn't come from the Nirvana scripture, he would really suspect that someone was conning him. This was no different than suicide. The Divine Gate Star was located in the position of the Niwan. If you drew a line connecting the ears and another line from where the eyebrows met to the back of the head, the place they connected was the Niwan. This place had many names. The Niwan, the Mind Sea, the Divine Palace, the Soul Depository. There were all kinds of names, but they all referred to this place. In the cultivation world, it was said that even before a fetus formed, its Niwan was born. Even before a baby formed, its Niwan existed. The Niwan represented the soul. First came the soul, then came the body. So naturally, when people's heads were heavily injured, their souls would dissipate, causing them to die in both mind and soul. It was due to the collapse of the Niwan. Unless a person's spiritual strength was extremely powerful, below the soul transformation realm, a cultivator whose Niwan was destroyed would definitely die. This was an extremely important place and also an extremely weak place. But this was where he was supposed to condense the Divine Gate Star. Even with Long Chen's guts, he sucked in a cold breath. In his memories, there was also the Divine Gate Pill, which was a ninth-tier medicinal pill. It required over a hundred ninth-tier medicinal ingredients. But right now, he didn't look at it, because he didn't need it. The embryonic form of the Divine Gate Star was not condensed through medicinal pills, but by opening the Divine Gate. Once the Divine Gate was opened, the Divine Gate Star would automatically appear. The Divine Gate was located in his mind sea. If he wanted to open it, he needed the power of lightning tribulation. In other words, he needed to open the Divine Gate during his lightning tribulation. This time, I'm really dead. I wanted to first condense the fifth star before undergoing tribulation. But now I need to undergo tribulation to condense the fifth star. Long Chen wanted to cry. His current body was unable to handle his own power. If he underwent his tribulation now, then once he broke his immortal platforms to form cores, his body would instantly explode. There definitely has to be some secret to this. The nine star hegemon body art has never failed me before. Since I can't figure it out, I just won't think about it. Long Chen took a deep breath. In the end, he trusted that the Nine Star Hegemon body art wouldn't kill him. There was nothing else he could do. He could only go all out. He thought for a moment and looked at the map. In the end, he chose an extremely secluded place for his tribulation. According to the Pill Fairy, this region had no earth flames and no resources. It was just a sea of lava. Whether I'm a serpent or a dragon will be decided now. Long Chen stood in the air, a sea of lava below him. Within this world of flames, he clenched his teeth and formed hand seals. His mind sea suddenly grew turbulent, its energy raging. Boom. According to the technique in his new memories, he formed seven strange hand seals. His mind sea rumbled. Gradually, a huge gate appeared. The divine gate was in his mind sea, but in his mind's eye. It was boundless, and there was no way to see the end of it. In front of it, he was like an ant no. He was nothing more than a speck of dust. Long Chen had never sensed this huge gate in his mind see before. It was a grand, heavenly gate. Golden runes revolved around it, forming millions of chains that bound the gate. The gate was sealed tightly, enough to cause despair. This is the divine gate? The divine gate, a gate for becoming a god. Long Chen was filled with shock but also excitement and battle intent. The sky suddenly darkened. The moment the divine gate appeared in his mind sea, the scarlet sky of the heaven dragon flame region turned dark. Heavenly pressure crashed down on Long Chen. Ha ha ha. So that's what it was. Long Chen suddenly laughed. 
his voice louder than the thunder of the tribulation. The moment the divine gate appeared, energy spread from the divine gate through his entire body. His body was like a river that had been dry for 10,000 years and was finally receiving nourishment. It greedily devoured this energy, and his body rapidly strengthened. The heavenly tribulation had only just appeared when lightning beasts began to fall from the sky, charging at Long Chen like a tide. Just the first wave of the tribulation was so terrifying. Buzz. Suddenly, the void split open. A huge gate appeared in the heaven dragon flame region. It was the divine gate in his mind sea, and it had manifested itself in the outside world. Crashing against the tribulation clouds, it destroyed the lightning beasts, turning them into runes. Long Chen could only stare in shock. Was this his tribulation, or the divine gate's tribulation? The divine gate shattered the tribulation runes as soon as it appeared, and it seemed that the heavens had become infuriated. The tribulation clouds condensed once more and on an even greater scale at that. However, the Divine Gate unleashed another wave of energy, once more destroying the Tribulation Clouds. Even Long Chen was struck dumb. It had destroyed the Tribulation Clouds. What kind of power was this? When the Tribulation Clouds condensed once more, the entire world was being crushed by heavenly pressure. The Tribulation surged from above, while down below, the sound of the crashing lava roared. Despite this apocalyptic scene, the divine gate was indifferent. It stood firm amongst the clouds. Lightning figures could be seen crashing against it. The heavens were enraged, wanting to completely annihilate this existence that dared to provoke its dignity. An endless stream of lightning beasts attacked the divine gate. There were dragons, phoenixes, elephants, apes. Each one of them was huge and ferociously attacking it. Long Chen was completely stupefied. He was supposed to be undergoing tribulation, but it seemed that he didn't need to do anything. He just had to watch as the lightning beasts crashed against the divine gate. These huge lightning beasts were like ants in front of the divine gate, but there was an endless stream of them. Long Chen noticed that as the lightning beasts attacked, the chains binding the divine gate gradually grew fainter. So that's what it was. Borrowing the power of tribulation lightning to open the divine gate. Ha ha ha. This is definitely history's easiest tribulation. My luck has finally taken a turn for the better Long Chen laughed excitedly. He was feeling blessed. Long Chen looked at the divine gate in the outside world and the one in his mind see. He confirmed that they were really one and the same. As the chains on the outside world's divine gate grew fainter, the bindings of the one in his mind see also weakened. Suddenly, one of the chains shattered. That chain was nothing more than one of millions of chains. It fell from the divine gate, as large as a mountain. Mine. Long Chen rushed over and grabbed the chain. He directly pulled it into the primal chaos space. So, it actually has a solid substance. This huge chain was filled with pure thunder force. Li Long immediately flew out and bit down on it, absorbing its energy. Suddenly, explosive sounds rang out as countless chains fell. Long Chen was delighted. Those chains fragmented into many pieces but each one was huge. It was like the chains had possessed some kind of energy before, but that energy had been completely supplanted by thunder force, causing them to shatter. However, the thunder force stayed in the chains. Long Chen didn't care why such a thing would happen. All he knew was that he had struck gold. He frantically gathered the chains, and a huge pile of them quickly appeared in the primal chaos space. Even Lei Long was buried by them. More and more lightning beasts charged out, and they gradually became stronger. But because of this, the chains shattered at an even faster rate, delighting Long Chen. Just as he was frantically gathering the chains, a huge pile of chains fell from the sky, almost burying him. Long Chen was startled. He looked up to see that all the chains of the Divine Gate had been broken, and its doors had opened. Heaven and Earth rumbled. Primal chaos circulated on the other side of the gate. It slowly merged with the outside world's energy, forming a vortex. The moment the vortex appeared, Long Chen's body shook. He felt a majestic energy he had never felt before spreading through his body. Suddenly, the divine gate in the outside world disappeared. Within his mind see, the divine gate was still open, and the vortex continued to revolve. As it revolved, his Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Fate, and Enlightenment Palace star shook intensely. 
They each sent a stream of energy into the vortex. The vortex spun even faster after receiving the energy of the four stars. A subtle resonance appeared between the Fenfu, Aliath, Life Fate, Enlightenment Palace, and Divine Gate Stars. Although the Divine Gate Star was currently just a vortex, it still formed a resonance with the other stars. Long Chen felt some kind of energy activate within his body, filling him with power. Ha 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 ha, what the fuck? Long Chen raised his head and laughed to unleash his joy, but his expression quickly changed. The endless tide of lightning beasts that had lost the Divine Gate as a target now came charging at him. Chapter 1366 Advancing to Jade Core Translator Born to be cracking Naiza suddenly rang out from Long Chen's body. He looked inside himself in shock to see that his 108,000 immortal platforms had cracked. A vague divine light came from behind the cracks. So the one going through tribulation just now wasn't really me. And my tribulation only starts now? What a scam. Long Chen's face turned dark. Just now, the divine gate had infuriated the heavens and increased the power of the tribulation as much as possible. Then it had left this tribulation to him. Just thinking of how the Divine Gate had repeatedly smashed apart the Tribulation Clouds to raise its power was enough to cause despair. Originally, Long Chen had thought that his luck had taken a turn for the better. But now, he realized it was all a scam. Since there's no way out, let's fight. Lie long, don't fill up on rations. Eat some fresh food. Seeing the horde of lightning beasts charging at him, Long Chen summoned a huge lightning blade and charged forward himself. Boom. A flash of lightning went through the lightning beasts. The lightning beasts were cut down in droves. Lai Long also appeared beside Long Chen after hearing his call. With a roar, it pounced on the lightning beasts. Long Chen felt inexhaustible energy coming from every inch of him. Each strike of his blade destroyed multiple lightning beasts. It wasn't that the lightning beasts weren't powerful, but that Long Chen was even stronger. His divine gate had been opened and the embryonic form of the Divine Gate Star had been condensed, explosively growing his power. These lightning beasts that he had felt to be incredibly powerful just before were destroyed in waves. Lai Long, go back for now. Long Chen suddenly put away Lai Long. He realized that this was different from his past tribulations. The lightning runes from the slain lightning beasts were being absorbed by his body. The thunder force of these runes didn't invade his body. Instead, they went to his 108,000 immortal platforms. More and more cracks appeared on his embryonic platforms as he absorbed more thunder force. It was like something was about to break out of a cocoon. I need to absorb this much thunder force to break my platforms and condense them into cores. Seeing the change in his immortal platforms, Long Chen put away Lai Long to prevent it snatching the thunder force he needed. Wielding his lightning blade, he slaughtered the lightning beasts bathing himself in a sea of lightning. There were far too many of them. Even after six hours, their numbers hadn't dropped. The world was still filled with lightning, and it was impossible to see anything within. Yet, Long Chen was comforted to see more and more cracks appearing in his immortal platforms. Divine light was coming from behind those cracks. As that light blossomed, his body absorbed the thunder force as well. His blood, flesh, and bones were all bathed by the light. It was like he was being reborn. Boom. The lightning beast suddenly vanished. Instead, replacing them was a mass of human-shaped lightning figures. They all possessed terrifying auras and undefeatable wills. Ancient heroic spirits? They were unrivaled experts when they were alive? Let's see who's more unrivaled Long Chen had encountered these human lightning figures back when he had undergone tribulation in the immemorial path. He knew that they were experts who had fallen to heavenly tribulation in the past. Their fighting styles had been imprinted in the heavenly deos. And now the heavenly deos summoned incarnations of them to fight Long Chen. Long Chen charged toward the human lightning figures. A bloody battle was fought. There were tens of thousands of the lightning figures. Blood quickly covered Long Chen's body. As each one of these lightning figures was a powerful expert. They possessed their own unique powerful moves and for him to be surrounded by this many, he was quickly injured. Although blood dyed his robe, Long Chen was still fearless. As he fought, his aura only grew stronger. With each attack, he blew apart dozens of them. Those lightning figures transformed into runes after being blown apart, 
and they were absorbed by his immortal platforms. The cracks on his immortal platforms grew larger, and there were signs of pieces being about to fall. As the cracks grew larger, Long Chen managed to see what was behind them. Inside each of the platforms was a bead. Indistinct primal chaos was circulating within them, and they nourished his body. As he killed, more and more pieces fell from the platforms, revealing what was inside. For normal foundation forging experts, entering the Jade Core Realm involved transforming the immortal platform into a core. The Jade Core Realm was sometimes called the Golden Core Realm, or the Divine Core Realm. That was because the majority of people condensed cores that were golden. Only a small portion of people had different colored divine cores. Some of those people were highly specialized elemental experts, while some were just oddities. As for Long Chen, he found that what he had wasn't even a core. As his immortal platform shattered, he saw that inside each one was clearly a star flowing with primal chaos. This meant that 108,000 stars were in the midst of being born. Primal chaos space was circulating, strengthening his body. Boom. The tribulation once more changed. The human lightning figure shifted, replaced by warriors wearing ancient robes. These warriors looked as if they possessed flesh and blood bodies. They were just like other people. Some were old. Some were young. Some were men. Some were women. As soon as they appeared, Long Chen's scalp turned numb. He recognized their aura. Back when he had undergone his tribulation in the Zhuanshan Dao sect's infernal devil abyss to annihilate the horde of devil beasts, this kind of terrifying existence had appeared at the very end. Just a single one had almost killed him. It was thanks to Li Xiangxuan's advice that he managed to understand how to beat it and successfully pass his tribulation. These life forms all charged at Long Chen, immediately launching killing blows. One of them was holding a sword and slashed it at Long Chen. It was a seemingly unstoppable blow that could cut apart heaven and earth. Divine Ring. Battle Armor. Long Chen's Divine Ring suddenly appeared, blowing apart an empty space within the Sea of Lightning. A faint fifth color had appeared in the original four-colored Divine Ring. It was an extremely faint azure color. If it wasn't in the center of the other four colors, it would have been impossible to sense. At the same time, five stars appeared in Long Chen's eyes. But one of those stars was not as bright as the other four. Long Chen's blade slashed through one of these life forms. His immense power instantly killed it. At the same time, he was attacked from behind. All he was able to do was shift slightly to protect his vitals. But he felt a burst of pain as a sword stabbed through his back. However, what surprised him was that the life form whose sword was stabbed into his body suddenly transformed into lightning runes and entered his body. Those lightning runes were absorbed by his 108,000 stars. When he had first seen 108 of these terrifying life forms, Long Chen had thought it would be a dangerous battle to the death. He hadn't expected such a thing. Seeing this, Long Chen attacked another one of them, essentially giving up on defense. He simply did his best to avoid their attacks landing on his vitals, but otherwise, he allowed their attacks to land very quickly. Many injuries appeared on his body, but he still felt no fear. Each time he was injured, the life form attacking him would transform into powerful lightning runes and be absorbed by his 108,000 stars. As he absorbed more and more, all his immortal platforms shed their outer layers, revealing stars. The power of these stars circulated throughout his body, strengthening him. Although the injuries covering him looked horrifying, he was still full of energy. As the life form's numbers dropped, his stars began to shine brighter. When the final one was killed, all the lightning vanished. The tribulation had ended. Long Chen sat on his butt and gasped for breath. He had lost a great deal of blood and was already getting dizzy. If it hadn't ended soon, he wouldn't have been able to hold on. A wave of exhaustion suddenly struck him. He really wanted to fall asleep right here. Huo Long, bring me away. Long Chen called out Huo Long. Huo Long was the one with the best senses in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. He had caused such a disturbance here. Even though this was a secluded and empty land, it was very likely that he had drawn over other experts. He had to leave as soon as possible. Huo Long brought Long Chen flying away. When he felt that it was far enough, he had Huo Long wrap around him and dive into the lava. With Huo Long's protection, he peacefully slept. 
When his vision darkened, Long Chen felt as if he had entered an unknown world. Long Chen, you've only condensed the fifth star now? It's really too slow. If you continue like this, it will be too late. They already know the plan and are slaughtering divine sprouts in every direction. We won't be able to last much longer. Hurry, Long Chen. While we still haven't been annihilated, grow up as much as possible. Otherwise, the ten planar worlds millions of life forms will be completely exterminated. That familiar voice once more rang out in Long Chen's mind. He heard it clearly, but he didn't say anything. He knew that the owner of this voice couldn't hear him. The ten planar worlds? Millions of life forms? Master of the nine stars? Pill sovereign memories? Looks like I've been drawn into a huge maelstrom. Long Chen suddenly sat up. Lava surrounded him, but inside Huo Long, the outside world was unable to harm him. No matter how great the maelstrom, I still have to resolve the matters in front of me first. Food has to be eaten bite by bite, and I can only take things step by step. What's the point of panicking? Long Chen bitterly smiled. On this trip to the Heaven Dragon Flame region, he had seen that mysterious woman. It had felt like he had understood something, but it also felt like he didn't understand anything at all. That woman's contradictory words had been especially worrying. You are you. You are not you. You are one. You are not one. He had countless questions, but no one was able to answer him. It made him feel like his head would explode. Huo Long, I need to rest. I'll give you a direction, and you can stealthily swim through the lava. Long Chen took a deep breath, since he couldn't figure it out. For now, he wouldn't waste any more energy on it. Having advanced to the Jade Core Realm, it should be time to get to proper matters. Chapter 1367 Target Heaven Incinerating Flame Translator Born to be Huo Long's body shrank to just a few dozen meters as it swam through the lava. This made it much more difficult for others to find them. In truth, the entire Heaven Dragon Flame region didn't have a proper landmass. All it had were floating islands. So by going through the lava, it was possible to reach any location. As they traveled, Huo Long constantly grew stronger, because its split bodies were all called back. Back then, it had sent out eight split bodies. One had detonated to hold back Kudajiang, and of the remaining seven, only six returned. Most likely, the last one had been destroyed by some powerful earth flame spirit beast. With six split bodies returning, Huo Long's power grew explosively. After merging temporarily, Huo Long once more sent out eight split bodies. But this time, the split bodies were sent to the primal chaos space to each absorb a divine flame crystal. Absorbing the divine flame crystals would rapidly increase its power. It had to be known that Huo Long possessed its own life and spirit now. The flames that were absorbed by it could impart their unique abilities to it. It was like a person learning different techniques. The primal chaos space had grown by ten times with his advancement to the Jade Core Realm. It was three million miles wide, practically becoming a minor world. However, other than a medicinal field, the rest of it was barren. Long Chen was too lazy to plant the iron spruce oaks again. Even at the peak of the Foundation Forging Realm, the life energy they had been able to offer him was almost negligible. Now he had advanced to the Jade Core Realm. During the Tribulation, the Iron Spruce Oaks had only been able to heal a single injury. They weren't even as strong as his own natural recovery ability. As for the Withered Iron Spruce Oaks, they had been incinerated by the Divine Flame Crystals. That was why the Primal Chaos Space was mostly empty. On the edges of the primal chaos space were the chains filled with thunder force. Lai Long was currently latched onto them, absorbing their energy. These were the chains that had fallen off the divine gate. They had been piled into a huge mountain. Lai Long was continuously absorbing their energy. The blazing dragon cauldron was not far, its whole body shining. There was a divine flame crystal being refined inside it, and its power was nourishing it. There were eight flame dragons in the vicinity each of them holding a divine flame crystal. Their efficiency was eight times greater than before. It was unknown whether it was because of Huo Long's influence, but Lai Long suddenly flew out of its pile and coiled around one of the flame dragons. It was like they were communicating. Just a moment later, Lai Long returned to its rations and actually summoned its own split bodies. Furthermore, 
Lai Long summoned over a hundred of them in one go, and it began to crazily absorb thunder force. It seemed Lai Long had mimicked Huo Long's skill. Lai Long, Huo Long, and the blazing dragon cauldron were all rapidly growing stronger. As for Long Chen, he was inside Huo Long's body, looking within himself to see the changes within his body. The tribulation had covered him in injuries, but his physical body was so powerful that his self-recovery ability was also extremely strong. Furthermore, he had protected his vitals, so in just one day, his body had essentially recovered. Although it couldn't compare to the divine life elixir, this recovery speed was still shocking. Looking within himself, he saw 108,000 stars slowly circulating in his body. An endless stream of energy spread throughout his body. It was like a huge formation cycling power perfectly in an unending loop. The stars formed their own self-sufficient system. If they became strong enough, Long Chen wouldn't even have to absorb energy from the outside world. He could replenish his own energy from the stars. Of course, that wasn't possible right now. These stars all seemed unfinished. They had the form of a star, but they weren't fully condensed. And yet, the amount of power they already possessed made Long Chen's heart pound. Previously, he hadn't even been able to use his power because it had been so immense. But now that he could use this even more terrifying energy, Long Chen felt even greater reverence for the nine-star hegemon body art. Before undergoing the tribulation, the amount of energy he had been able to use had been very limited. But now that his 108,000 stars were free of the immortal platforms, he no longer felt anything stopping him from using their power. As his body recovered, he felt like he might explode from how powerful he felt. It felt like his power simply wanted to erupt. This was also the feeling many cultivators felt after advancing. Because they weren't able to control their new power, their aura leaked out. At that time, a cultivator's power might have multiplied. But because they weren't used to this new power and were unable to control themselves, their actual combat power would be very limited. That was why Long Chen needed to adapt to his new power first. His body had gone through a complete transformation. It was like he had been reborn. He slowly circulated his energy through his body. This was a fundamental step for getting accustomed to his power, and he couldn't skip it. As his mind focused in his mind see, he saw a huge gate with the vortex spinning. At the center of the vortex was an extremely, extremely small spot. He knew that was the core of the Divine Gate Star. It was its embryonic form. Divine light shot out of it. Long Chen sensed that it had gathered the energy of the Feng Fu, Aliyah, Life Star, and Enlightenment Palace Stars, as if it was the leader of those four stars. The four stars were in the midst of undergoing some unknown transformation. The Divine Gate Pill is a ninth-tier medicinal pill that requires 173 medicinal ingredients. Good. I'm not missing that many. Yes. I'm only missing 170 of them. Fuck. Long Chen was speechless. It seemed that he was being scammed over and over again. The Divine Gate Pill was a ninth-tier medicinal pill, and he didn't even have that many ninth-tier medicinal ingredients. The numerous 8th tier and below medicinal ingredients that he did have were all useless. Amongst 9th tier medicinal ingredients, he had tried to plan ahead and had gathered a few must-have ones. He had over a hundred of them, but now only three were actually useful here, and none of them were main ingredients. Looks like I'll need to think of a way to get those medicinal ingredients. I wonder if I can get some from Pill Valley. Long Chen was a bit apprehensive. In the current situation, as soon as he left the Heaven Dragon Flame region, he would be immediately killed due to the blame of killing so many genius disciples falling on his shoulders. Huo Long, slow down a bit. Long Chen suddenly sensed two figures rushing from above together. He had Huo Long follow them. Those two weren't going too fast, and they had no idea that in the sea of lava below them, there was a flame dragon swimming around. Senior Apprentice Brother Guo. We haven't found suitable earth flames yet, but the Alliance Master wanted us to give up and find Long San. Don't you think that's a bit unreasonable grumbled one of those disciples. The disciple called Senior Apprentice Brother Guo said, What can we do? We can't go against the orders from higher up. Even if we don't find anything this time, we'll have another chance. But if we offend the Alliance Master, 
we'll probably be kicked out of the Divine Pill Hall. It's not worth it to be disobedient. Long Chen was startled. So the two of them were actually searching for him. He stealthily sent his divine sense up and saw that they were disciples of the Divine Spear Alliance. And they were Jade Core experts. Just what happened to Long San? Did he go crazy? He actually killed over a hundred disciples of the Divine Shield Alliance. Not even Dan Yangsu and Kan Dong's dare to protect him any longer. And they sent out the order to kill him on sight. If he's going to die, why couldn't he just die without causing a fuss? We don't even have time to search for Earth Flames because of him. Over a hundred disciples killed? Long Chen sneered inside. It seemed Dan Yangsu and Kan Dong's were even more vicious than he had realized. They had killed so many of the Divine Shield Alliance's disciples. This would truly be a fearsome injury to the core of the Divine Shield Alliance. Without enough alchemists, the Divine Spear Alliance would become the main force of Pill Valley in the future. Whether it was in the present or the future, this vicious move of the Divine Spear Alliance had completely turned things around. It definitely got the most use out of the chess piece known as Long San. All those people were killed by Long San. And now that the Divine Spear Alliance discovered this scourge, they would immediately abandon their prejudices and join hands with the Divine Shield Alliance to kill him. They would appear righteous while also managing to kill him to cover the truth. If his guess wasn't wrong, those people who had disguised themselves as Long San and killed other disciples would all be quietly eliminated by Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs. That way, once Long San was dead, there would be no one to testify against their version of stories. When an investigation was carried out, Dan Yangsu would point their investigation toward that idiot Jiang Zijin. Before entering the Heaven Dragon Flame region, Jiang Zijin had clearly expressed how he wanted to kill Long San. What had happened was that Long San had been chased down by Jiang Zijin, and driven by revenge. He had decided that since he couldn't beat Jiang Zijin, he had launched an indiscriminate slaughter to Vand. When the time came, all those people who had died would be said to be killed by him, while the responsibility would be pushed on to Jiang Zijin. It wasn't a bad plan. Continuing to hear them talking, he realized that they were just complaining, and he lost interest. He had Huo Long speed up, as he wanted to go see that golden phoenix again. He had long since been attracted to the heaven incinerating flame. That was the existence ranked third on the earth flame ranking, and it only existed in legend. The golden phoenix was still young, and this was the best time to subdue it. Once it matured, then let alone a jade core disciple, even a life star expert would have to scram upon seeing it. A landmass quickly appeared ahead. It floated it up the lava. As he wove around some small islands, he quickly found the spiritual imprints he had left behind. However, when he approached this region, he sensed powerful auras clashing from ahead. Powerful undercurrents were raging in the lava. Oh, people are fighting the golden phoenix. Long Chen was startled. He had Huo Long find a concealed spot, while he stealthily stuck his head out of the lava. Seeing the situation, he was delighted. The heavens were finally making things up to him. Chapter 1368 Divine Crystal Formation Translator Born to be the Golden Phoenix was immersed in flames as it fought in the sky. It was fighting four people. Those four people were Kudai Jiang, Jiang Zijin, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs. They had all summoned their heavenly Tao manifestations, and their nine grand Tao flowers revolved. Flame blades flew about as they fought. The four of them didn't dare to face the golden phoenix head on. Each time they exchanged blows, their flame blades would ignite, and they would have no choice but to throw them away and condense a new one. They were most afraid of fighting the golden phoenix in close range. Once they were struck by it, the runes around them would be incinerated. The flame runes they had summoned around them were their core runes. If they were ignited, they would have to abandon them, and that would harm their foundations. But if they didn't abandon them, they would be incinerated as well. However, as rank 9 celestials, their spiritual strength was extremely powerful. Flame arrows shot out at the golden phoenix. The four of them had long since planned out their strategy and were working together well. When the golden phoenix attacked one of them, the other three would launch all out attacks. They would try to bind it with flame chains. Those flame chains would only last a breath's time before being incinerated but that one breathing room for the one being attacked, 
and they would be able to escape the Golden Phoenix's attack. Of the four of them, it was clear that Kudajiang was the main force. Whenever anyone was in danger, he would use a powerful attack to stop the Golden Phoenix. The other three were alchemists, and although their spiritual strength was powerful and they possessed powerful flames, they were still alchemists. They were not as adept as a flame cultivator in fighting. Put in some more effort. It's been three days, and its power is starting to fall. If we last a bit longer, we'll be able to seal it, cried Kudajiang excitedly. The heaven incinerating flame was something all flame cultivators longed for. There was not a single flame cultivator capable of resisting its attraction. This heaven incinerating flame in particular had just been born, and it was the best time to subdue it. They definitely couldn't miss this chance. Don't forget our agreement. Once it's sealed, we'll each extract 20% of its flame energy, said Dan Yangsu coldly. In order to obtain the heaven incinerating flame, Kudajiang had had no choice but to find helpers. On his own, there was no way to handle it. Last time, he had almost been killed by it. So, he gathered Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin. They had agreed that once they obtained it, he would extract 40% of its power, and the remaining 60% would be split between the three of them. Of course, Earth Flames couldn't simply be divided like this. Once the Golden Phoenix was sealed, it would become an Earth Flame Seed. This was a complete seed, and it could grow stronger in the future. However, once it was split up, it couldn't grow any stronger. In other words, its power would never surpass the current power of the Phoenix. In truth, that aggrieved Kudajiang greatly, but there was no way around it. If he didn't split it with them, the three of them wouldn't help. In the end, obtaining just a part of the heaven incinerating flame was better than nothing. HMPH, do you think brother Ku is as petty as you? Sneered Jiang Zijin. Jiang Zijin, are you worried you haven't caused enough trouble? Because you chased down Long San, you made him despair and start a crazy slaughter of innocents. Not only did he kill your people, but even our people who went to help them were killed. It's clear he knows that he has no hope of living, so he wants to bring down as many people as possible with him before his death. With your stupidity, do you have any right to mock others? Retorted Dan Yangsu viciously. Bullshit. That Long San is in your faction, and his matters are your responsibility raged Jiang Zijin. Don't joke. When Long San was in our faction, although he was brazen, he treated the people around him decently and was easy to get along with. But after entering the Heaven Dragon Flame region, he became a murderous devil. There's no way you can avoid this responsibility, sneered Dan Yangsu. Long Chen smiled coldly as he hid. She was truly skilled at assigning blame. Jiang Zijin had already fallen for Dan Yangsu's trap. You, Jiang Zijin was enraged, clearly refusing to accept this blame. All right, stop talking. We're still busy. First, seal the phoenix, and then we'll kill Long San. Long San's already crazy and kills anyone on sight. We have to kill him, or we won't be able to give an explanation to everyone, interjected Kudajiang. In truth, right now, Jiang Zijin only knew that over ten of his disciples had died. He had no idea that this number was just a tenth of his real casualties. That was why he was just angry and didn't feel fear yet. Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs were skilled actors and also acted like victims. Even Kudajiang had fallen for their act. However, Kudajiang wasn't interested in anything other than the Phoenix right now. If he obtained it, his power would rise to a terrifying level. The three of them immediately stopped arguing and focused on the Phoenix. The heaven incinerating flame was just too precious. Although it was wild and wasn't suitable for refining pills. Its flame seed could be exchanged for unimaginable wealth. Even a rank 9 celestial would be moved. He, work hard. I look favorably upon you. Long Chen laughed inside. He directed Huo Long to go down, and he quickly found a huge cave. Seeing the countless divine flame crystals again, Long Chen wasn't able to control himself. He entered and saw that the cave was very long. It had to be over a hundred miles, and that made things hard on him. Gathering the crystals one by one would be too slow. He wanted to absorb the entire cave, but it was too big. This size was absolutely impossible for him to absorb. Huo Long, Blazing Dragon Cauldron. 
It'll be up to you. These are your rations. So you think of a way. Long Chen shouted into the primal chaos space. The blazing dragon cauldron flew out, while Huo Long explosively grew. It bit off divine flame crystals from the wall, sending them to the blazing dragon cauldron, which had also expanded. Once it was packed with divine flame crystals, it returned to the primal chaos space and tossed tens of thousands of them to the ground before flying back out. Huo Long, who was waiting, continued tossing divine flame crystals to it. This cycle didn't require Long Chen to waste any effort. As Long Chen advanced, it was like a group of locusts flying through a grain field. The divine flame crystals on the walls were swept clean. A mountain of divine flame crystals quickly appeared in the primal chaos space thanks to Huo Long and the blazing dragon cauldron's efforts. When they worked together, their speed shocked even Long Chen. He quickly reached the end of the cave, and it suddenly opened into an empty space like a plaza. Seeing what was inside, he jumped in shock. This entire space was full of divine flame crystals. Each one of them was as large as a human and was in the shape of multifaceted diamonds. Divine light and faint immortal spiritual chi came from them. When he saw these crystals, he felt like he had been transported to an immortal flame world. These are true divine crystals. Long Chen's eyes almost popped out. These crystals possessed immortal spiritual chi within them and were completely different from the ordinary divine flame crystals. Long Chen was in the midst of reaching out to gather them when he realized something was off. These crystals were arranged in a pattern. It seems to be a formation he quickly saw through some clues. These crystals filled this space, but they were different from the divine flame crystals that had simply been lining the walls of the cave outside. Long Chen looked carefully. There were 36,000 of these divine crystals, and they were arranged in a set distance from each other. Although he couldn't tell what formation this was, he knew this wasn't natural. Who cares? The formation has nothing to do with me. In any case, Pill Valley's things are my things. Long Chen forcibly pulled one out of the wall. It revealed a hole behind, and there was an ancient rune in it as well. That rune rapidly dimmed, but nothing else happened. He... Looks like it's a formation that's been crippled for a long time. Then Master Long San won't stand on courtesy Long Chen had been a bit worried. According to reason, he shouldn't touch these crystals in case something happened and he was killed by the formation. However, he trusted the senses of the nine-star hegemon body art, and he didn't sense any danger. If he didn't take them, it would mean that is see a treasure and can't walk away disease had been cured. Seeing that there was no problem with the first one, Long Chen quickened his pace. He had Huo Long come out to act as the transport, and the 36,000 divine crystals were quickly transported to the primal chaos space. Long Chen checked the entire cave to see if he had gotten everything. Seeing that there was nothing else, he finally left. He didn't know that after he left, the dim runes in the 36,000 notches began to fall. Then cracks began to appear. Long Chen summoned Huo Long and slowly swam to the surface. Once he was close to the surface, he heard explosive ringing. Chains were flying in the air. Hu Dejiang, Jiang Zijin, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs all had blood-colored runes on their foreheads. They had actually managed to seal it. Should I help them out? Or should I help them out? How about I help them out? Ah, I'll just randomly pick one of those three options. An evil smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Chapter 1369 Master Long will kindly accept your offering. Translator. Born to be the Golden Phoenix was tightly bound in blood-colored chains. They were the spirit blood seals that Ku Dejiang, Jiang Zijin, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs had summoned. After several days of work, the four of them had finally exhausted the Golden Phoenix. The most important factor was that Earth Flame Spirit Beasts were too dumb. Despite clearly having weakened, it didn't flee and continued to fight. As a result, it had allowed itself to be captured. Their spiritual strength was currently erasing the final bit of energy the Golden Phoenix had. Eventually, the chain suddenly tightened. The seal was complete. Ha ha ha. Success. The four of them were all ecstatic to have sealed the Golden Phoenix without any mishaps. Everyone. You've worked hard. Let me express my sincere gratitude for your outstanding contribution. Since we're all friends, I'll kindly accept it. 
A figure suddenly appeared beside the golden phoenix and put it away. He had a grateful expression and cupped his fists in thanks toward the four of them. Long San, their expressions all changed. They had already told all their subordinates not to come here no matter what happened. That was because the four of them didn't want Pill Valley to learn about the matter of the heaven incinerating flame. According to Pill Valley's rules, any disciple who obtained a top 10 earth flame would have to offer it to Pill Valley, and Pill Valley would give them a corresponding reward. Earth flames below the top 10 would belong to the disciples, but the top 10 earth flames were too powerful. Even Pill Valley cared about them. As for the heaven incinerating flame, it was ranked third. If they gave it to Pill Valley, there was no chance of them getting something as good. Even if the Pill Valley gave them treasures, there was no way they could match the value of the heaven incinerating flame. So the four of them had intended to keep this matter secret. After all, Everyone was selfish. That was why no one had appeared in this region despite them fighting for so long. The four of them were sure no one would be so brazen as to come here and snatch the earth flame from them. So they hadn't made any preparations. Courting death. Seeing Long Chen put the golden phoenix away. The four of them were enraged. Hu Jiang was the first to attack. Flames erupted from him as he attacked Long Chen. He unleashed a punch that was clearly intent on killing him. I've been courting death for a long time, but can you actually help me court death? Long Chen smiled coldly. He didn't unleash his aura. He just sent out a single punch. Flames erupted. Hu Jiang's arm broke in several places and he was blown back. Do you think you could suppress me like when I was still in the foundation forging realm? Long Chen sneered. His gaze was like two sharp blades sweeping over the four of them. He was no longer his old self and was filled with explosive power. Just now, his punch had been nothing more than a test. You, you advanced to the Jade Core Realm. The four of their expressions changed. Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongzi's expressions were especially ugly. Do you regret abandoning me so easily? Did you feel like I wouldn't have much value as a chess piece? Perhaps if you had used me better, I could have even helped you get rid of Jiang Zijin. Is that what you're thinking? said Long Chen indifferently as he looked at Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs. He naturally knew what they were thinking. Nonsense. Long San, you've already become bedeviled. Our subordinates were simply ordered to capture you, not kill you. Put down your butcher's blade and come peacefully. That's your only option to live. As long as you don't resist, there'll still be room for negotiating. Although you killed many people, Pill Valley won't kill someone as talented as you. Don't misunderstand, explained Kan Dongs. Ha ha ha, Long Chen couldn't help but laugh. Even at this time, he was able to say such lies that not even a child would believe. They were really insulting his intelligence. Long Chen couldn't be bothered to expose him. The main thing was that he didn't want to waste words. There was no need for such a thing now. Attack together, kill him. Jiang Zijin roared furiously. Heavenly Dao energy circulated and a flame spear condensed in his hand. He shot at Long Chen. Although they had all exhausted a great deal of soul energy and spiritual yuan to seal the golden phoenix, the truth was that most of the effort had come from Ku Jiang. After the first day, they had found their rhythm and learned to cooperate. Their rate of exhaustion had fallen, while the golden phoenix had weakened. By the end, their spiritual yuan had mostly recovered. Watch out. Seeing Jiang Zijin charge forward on his own, Hu Jiang let out a startled cry. Of the four of them, he was the strongest. Only he knew just how terrifying the current Long Chen was. He immediately shot after Long Chen as well. Bang! Jiang Zijin's spear was blown apart by Long Chen. In front of Long Chen, that flame spear was as weak as a child's plaything. Jiang Zijin had never imagined that Long Chen would have grown to such a terrifying level. With his flame spear broken, he was open to attack. Long Chen's hand was already raised in the air. Pow! Long Chen's hand viciously slapped across Jiang Zijin's face. A thick, automatic flame barrier appeared over Jiang Zijin's face to block it, but it was blown apart by Long Chen's slap. Half of Jiang Zijin's face caved in, and he shot back like a shooting star, crashing into the lava. A huge pillar of lava soared into the sky and then descended as a rain of lava. Hu Jiang's fist arrived in front of Long Chen right after he had slapped Jiang Zijin. 
His nine flowers revolved behind him. This time, he was using his real power. Boom. Long Chen met Ku Dai Jiang's punch with his own, and flame runes flew in every direction. It was like a firework had gone off. Long Chen and Ku Dai Jiang's fists were still locked as they floated in the air, their eyes cold as their auras continuously rose. A small vortex appeared where their fists were colliding. It gradually grew larger and larger. Jiang Zijin came out of the lava, his face pale and horrified. Just now, Long Chen's slap had almost killed him. He knew that if it hadn't been for his flame armor and Ku Dai Jiang's reinforcement, he would have died. If Long San hadn't needed to reserve a bit of energy to handle Ku Dai Jiang, that slap would have destroyed his head. Now seeing Long San fighting equally against Ku Dai Jiang, he was even more horrified. Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs were also stupefied. They had never imagined that Long San was so powerful. After just advancing to the Jade Core Realm, he possessed the power to fight against Ku Dai Jiang. It had to be known that Ku Dai Jiang was an extremely terrifying flame cultivator. Boom. Ku Dai Jiang's fist began to emit a blazing light as his power became violent. All his muscles bulged and his robes exploded, revealing his copper skin. Ku Dai Jiang was originally a large man. With his muscles bulging like this, he looked like a monster. In terms of power, no one is a match for me in the same realm. You might be strong, but there's an uncrossable gap between us, said Ku Dai Jiang coldly. With the increase in size, his voice also became heavier. At first, Jiang Zijin had been horrified to see Long San being a match for Ku Dai Jiang, but now seeing Ku Dai Jiang reveal such immense power, he instead became excited and cheered him on. Brother Ku, don't kill him too fast. Don't forget, he killed your brother. We have to make him live a life worse than death. Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongzi's expressions changed slightly, and they exchanged a glance. They nodded. They definitely wouldn't allow Long San to live. Only once he was dead could they push the blame to Jiang Zijin. Otherwise, if the truth was learned, the ones to die would be them. They had made their plans. Once Long San was subdued, they would immediately kill him to cover up the truth. Sorry, I can't accept your words. In terms of power, within the same realm, the only one who might be able to surpass me is one of my brothers. Other than him, I haven't met anyone who could match me. Your confidence is based on nothing, sneered Long Chen. Suddenly, an explosive sound came from Long Chen's body as his 108,000 stars began to revolve, forming an unending cycle of energy that poured through his body. His aura erupted. BoomNavaloon.com Azure ripples appeared in the space around Long Chen's fist. That was the result of space being compressed by the immense power. This, this is impossible. Boom. Long Chen's energy suddenly erupted like a volcano. Ku Dai Jiang was suddenly blown back by an immense power. He almost coughed up blood. Long Chen continued to stand in the air. Ripples continued to spread from his body. They began to spread further and further, shaking the sky and lava. It really is nice to be full of power. Long Chen clenched his fists. Feeling this inexhaustible energy surging within him, his eyes blazed. Sorry, I'll be using you all as whetstones today. Long Chen shot toward the four of them. Chapter 1370 Magma Body Translator Born to be Heaven and Earth Rumbled Ku Dai Jiang, Jiang Zijin, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongzi's expressions changed. They had never seen anyone trigger such a terrifying reaction just by relying on the power of their physical body. The most shocking thing to the four of them was that this single punch from Long Chen covered all four of them. An invisible energy was locking them down. Long San, your two arrogant Kondongs roared. A flame blade appeared in his hand, and it turned blood colored as he activated his spirit blood. Dan Yangsu and Jiang Zijin also immediately activated their spirit blood. They attacked Long Chen with their flame weapons. Did you not know? When have I, Master Long San? Ever been not arrogant Long Chen's fist smashed the four of them, colliding with their four flame weapons. Their weapons shook, but they managed to block his attack. However, after blocking him, the four of them were not delighted. Instead, they were deeply shocked, because they were in a deadlock. In other words, his current power was equal with their combined power. It seems if I don't bring out some real power, I won't be able to do anything to you all, sighed Long Chen. Ku Dai Jiang, Jiang Zijin, 
Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongzi's expressions immediately became unsightly. Based on his words, he really did think he could kill them. That was the greatest insult to them. However, their fury was quickly replaced with shock and alarm. Long Chen's five-colored divine ring suddenly began to revolve, causing the void to tremble uneasily. Energy from the world was forcibly extracted by the divine ring, and Long Chen's power explosively grew. Their flame weapons were blown apart. The four of them were blown back by his immense power. Long Chen's figure flashed, and he arrived in front of Jiang Zijin in an instant, his hand clamping down on his throat. Jiang Zijin was horrified. The other three were all blown away and couldn't help him. He was facing Long Chen on his own right now, which was something he didn't dare to do. He immediately activated some kind of movement art, seemingly teleporting away. Although he was fast, how could he compare to Long Chen who had killed his way out of countless battlefields? Long Chen knew what he wanted to do as soon as he tried it, and he immediately grabbed Jiang Zijin's arm, forcibly tearing it off. Jiang Zijin's face twisted in pain. As an alchemist who didn't have to worry about fighting, he had never suffered such a painful injury. He almost screamed, hurry up and use heavenly Tao energy to heal your arm. This long sand's extremely strange. Be careful, warned Ku Jiang gravely. He was the only real fighter amongst them, and he could see just how strong Long San was. Even so, his eyes didn't contain the slightest fear and were filled with battle intent instead. Long San, you truly are powerful, but having only just advanced to the Jade Core Realm, it seems your arrogance has nothing backing it. In the end, you still won't be able to walk out of the Heaven Dragon Flame region alive, said Ku Jiang. Long Chen slowly took off the spatial ring on the arm he had torn off of Jiang Zijin. Without even looking inside it, he knew there would be countless treasures. He first tossed it into the primal chaos space. I really doubt your words. Just where does your confidence stem from? Asked Long Chen indifferently as he tossed aside the arm. From myself. I fought for ten bloody years dominating the entrance to the devil world, and I have killed countless experts of the devil race. I'm not nearly as simple as you, said Ku Jiang. He walked in front of the other three, facing Long Chen alone, fighting for ten bloody years? That makes me think of my own experiences. From when I started rising in the eastern wasteland, it hasn't been ten years, it's only been over eight years. During these years, I seem to recall fighting quite a few battles. Your words make me think of a few memories Long Chen smiled faintly. What? You. You're not Long San. That divine ring. You're Long Chen. Cried out Jiang Zijin suddenly. Ku Jiang, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs came to a sudden comprehension. No wonder they had felt this divine ring to be so similar. They remembered hearing about this technique. With Jiang Zijin's reminder, they instantly thought of a demonic genius in the eastern Xuan region. He wasn't a celestial, but he could still fight evenly against one. The show of Long Chen fighting one of the corrupt path's ranked nine celestials, Gui Yan, had spread and shaken the entire world. His divine ring had become his signature technique. However, now it was five colors, not four. It seemed to have changed somewhat, so they hadn't immediately recalled it. As soon as Long San said that he came from the eastern wasteland, they immediately thought of him. Long Chen had offended Pill Valley egregiously, especially the radical faction Novaloon.com ha ha ha. Good, very good, Long Chen. I never imagined you would be so brazen as to waltz your way into Pill Valley. I admire your gods, laughed Ku Jiang. Thank you. In truth, I also very much admire you. Long Chen nodded and clasped his hands beyond his back in a leisurely manner. It was like he didn't care about the four people in front of him at all. The truth was that he really wasn't panicked over this. Huo Long had already devoured the sealed heaven incinerating flame. This was different from the previous earth flames it had devoured. Those had been earth flame spirit beasts that had resisted intensely. However, the heaven incinerating flame had already been sealed and wasn't resisting at all. It obediently let Huo Long devour it. It was just that the power difference between Huo Long and the heaven incinerating flame was too great. It could only devour its energy bit by bit, turning its energy into its own. The more time that passed, the greater Huo Long's power was. 
Long Chen didn't mind spending some more time on this. Ha ha ha, you really are brazen. Then let me experience just how much skill you have to stand on the same level as rank 9 celestials. Hu Jiang laughed. A rune suddenly appeared on his forehead, and it quickly spread to cover his entire body. That rune seemed to take root in his body. His already bulging muscles grew to another level, and his body hardened, looking like rock. The space around Hu Jiang began to wildly twist, and Jiang Zijin, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs were all forced to retreat. Just by being near him, they had felt like they would be flattened. That energy seemed to want to crush their bodies. Haha, <laughs> do you see? This is the magma body that only flame cultivators with the strongest physical bodies can train in. This secret art is incredibly powerful, and the only drawback is that it puts a great strain on the body when it's used. That strain can't even be immediately healed by heavenly Tao energy. So it requires me to rest for three months after I use it. However, for you, Long Chen, using my magma body is definitely worth it. Hopefully, you won't disappoint me, or I really will make you live a life worse than death. Hu Jiang grew so large that his voice became raspy and no longer sounded human. He now looked like a monster full of explosive power. I hear you also excel in power. Bring out your battle armor. In your current state. You're not a match for me. I don't want to waste my time, said Hu Jiang. All right, then I'll test your secret technique for myself. It just so happens that I also don't like wasting time. Five star battle armor. Long Chen let out a cry inside, and five stars appeared in his eyes. Although the star corresponding to the Divine Gate star was dim, it was still present. When it appeared, five stars vaguely appeared within the Divine Ring. The divine ring began to revolve faster and faster, until it reached such a speed that it didn't even look like it was revolving. Heaven and earth lost their light. It was like the world had lost its weight. Fist-sized balls of lava suddenly floated out of the sea of lava beneath them. It was as though heaven and earth had inverted and a rain of lava was going up. The divine ring suddenly blossomed with light, and a sacred aura spread. In front of the divine ring. Everyone else felt an urge to prostrate themselves. Jiang Zijin, Dan Yangsu, and Kan Dongs all turned pale, never having seen such a terrifying technique. Even Hu Jiang, who was in his strongest state was shocked. Suddenly, the rising balls of lava exploded in the air. Long Chen's aura climbed to a peak and stopped rising. This is your strongest state? It seems there wasn't much change. It'd be best if you weren't just trying to pull a trick or your death will be very miserable. Hu Jiang was somewhat suspicious, because Long Chen's aura might be shocking, but the fluctuations of his physical body didn't seem to have changed that much. Hu Jiang bent ever so slightly, and an explosive sound rang out as he shot toward Long Chen. Chapter 1371 Fifth Form of Split the Heavens Translator Born to be Don't Worry, I, Long Chen Never disappoint my opponent seeing Hu Jiang charging at him. Long Chen bent his knees and spread his feet ever so slightly. Like an arrow shooting out of a bow, he sprang forward. Boom. The sea of lava exploded. Flames runes turned into bright lights that shot into the distance. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin all coughed up blood from the shockwave despite defending all out. They didn't have any ability to resist in front of that power. They were filled with shock. This is the difference between alchemists and flame cultivators. Kan Dongs was envious. Don't let your Dao heart be rattled. The pill Dao is the correct choice. Warned Dan Yangsu coldly. Clearly, Kan Dongs had been amazed by Hu Jiang's immense power and wished he could possess such power too. His confidence had been rattled. After all, he was a man, and he wanted power too. But alchemists required a calm heart. If they switched professions to become a flame cultivator, that great power would make their hearts violent and warlike, and it would be very difficult to focus on alchemy. That was why the paths of flame cultivators and alchemists were conflicting. When alchemists switched to become flame cultivators, their alchemy path came to an end, and as more time passed, their alchemy skill would regress. In the end, they wouldn't even be able to refine pills. That was why it was commonly accepted that dual martial pill cultivation was a dead end. Within Pill Valley, alchemists possessed grand statuses, while no matter how strong the flame cultivator, 
they would be nothing more than a fighter. Furthermore, based on Pill Valley's ideology, alchemists had a path that could lead to ascension, but flame cultivators essentially had no chance of that. That was why in Pill Valley, alchemy was the correct path. While flame cultivators were all alchemists who had reached the end of their path and had had no choice but to switch. At this time, Kan Dongs was envious of Pu Dejiang's combat power, so Dan Yangsu gave him a reminder to avoid Kan Dongs giving up his alchemy due to his lust for power. Long Chen and Pu Dejiang were fighting intensely. Wind and flames raged. Each collision of their fists caused space to wildly distort. Not bad. You have the qualifications to fight against rank 9 celestials, bragged Pu Dejiang in the middle of their fighting, and in that moment that he split his attention to speak, a hand came from an incomprehensible angle and slapped across his face. What did you say? asked Long Chen. Although Long Chen's slap had come from a crafty angle, it wasn't very powerful, and was not a killing blow. But despite that, Pu Dejiang felt a stinging pain on his face. Compared to the pain of his face, the pain in his mind was much greater. Die. Pu Dejiang's eyes turned scarlet and his hair stood on end. Like an enraged lion, he crazily attacked. Demolition fist. Two transparent fist images shot out of Pu Dejiang's fists, smashing into Long Chen. These fist images possessed explosive power, and they shot out without any warning. Long Chen was immediately struck and coughed up blood. As for Pu Dejiang. He also coughed up blood. That was because while he had attacked Long Chen, Long Chen had also landed a vicious kick to his lower abdomen. Neither side had any advantage. Wiping off the blood from their mouths, they once more shot at each other. Pu Dejiang suddenly formed hand seals, and a flame giant condensed behind him. Spirit merging art. The flame giant was suddenly absorbed by Pu Dejiang, and flame runes appeared in his eyes. A terrifying pressure immediately descended. He's actually able to use the spirit merging art so quickly. How is that possible? Jiang Zijin was shocked. Although he was an alchemist, he knew what the spirit merging art. In fact, the majority of alchemists knew it. Alchemists didn't necessarily not possess any combat power. They could raise either own earth flame spirit beasts. Even without personally fighting, their earth flame spirit beasts could dominate their opponents. A main reason Jiang Zijin and the others wanted the heaven incinerating flame was to nurture a terrifying earth flame spirit beast as a houseboat. Whether it was for showing off or actual combat, it had countless uses. But alchemists had special constitutions, and so they were unable to merge with their earth flame spirit beasts. Only flame cultivators could do so. However, even for flame cultivators, Merging with an earth flame spirit beast should take at least several breaths time. But the greater the connection between the user and the earth flame spirit beast, the shorter the merging time would take. To merge with an earth flame spirit beast allowed the flame cultivator to unleash several times their previous power. One punch. One punch will kill you. Pu Dejiang seemed to have reached the border of insanity after being slapped by Long Chen. When his fist slammed towards Long Chen. A whirlwind of flames followed. That's a grand ambition, but you'll never achieve it in your lifetime. Long Chen snorted and also sent forth a punch. But in that instant, green scales covered his entire body. Boom. Pu Dejiang's expression changed. He felt like he had been struck by a meteorite, and he was blown back. This is your punch that will kill me in one blow, sneered Long Chen. He felt carefree inside. After advancing to the Jade Core Realm and condensing the embryonic form of the Divine Gate Star, everything had changed. He no longer had to fight so sullenly. The feeling of being able to unleash his full power was addicting. Taste my one-shot kill as well. Long Chen took seven steps, crossing thousands of meters with each step to appear beside Pu Dejiang. He sent out a single punch. His 108,000 stars revolved. A starry image appeared on each one of his scales. Space exploded. His fist didn't even touch Pu Dejiang. The explosion made Pu Dejiang smash into the lava below. His bones broken. Lava surged out in every direction from the impact. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dong's, and Jiang Zijin's expressions changed. They had never expected that the incredibly powerful flame cultivator Pu Dejiang would be unable to receive a single blow from Long Chen. This was their first time experiencing how terrifying Long Chen was. 
Heaven rending divine slash. Suddenly, a furious row rang out from the lava. The sea tore apart as a huge flame blade slashed towards Long Chen. Long Chen's heart shook. This flame blade was an incredibly powerful magical art. It had actually absorbed the energy within the sea of lava. This attack possessed the power to kill him. A Sabira appeared in Long Chen's hand. The saber pointed towards the sky, and a huge saber image pierced the clouds. It was like heaven and earth could not endure its existence. A fierce will was present within the saber image, one that would make even gods run. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin felt like they were lambs for the slaughter in front of this blade. They couldn't even form an urge to resist. That was the will within the saber image wasn't one that aimed to kill humans, but one that aimed to shatter the heavens. This was a saber at the peak of the heavens, at the peak of the earth, at the peak of all gods and devils. Split the heavens five. Long Chen's saber slashed down mercilessly. Boom. The huge saber image crashed against the flame blade. The flame blade was instantly blown apart, and without pausing, the saber image continued down. Kudai Jiang coughed up blood when his flame blade was destroyed. That flame blade had contained part of his soul, and was condensed with the energy of his earth flame spirit beast. Its destruction injured him. Not good. Kudai Jiang was pale. This blade gave him a feeling of absolute death. He felt like not even a hundred lives would be enough. Sea of flames. Form of the heavens condensed the nine flower behind Kudai Jiang shook. Chanting filled the air as he activated the Nirvana scripture. Furthermore, this was the second volume. The sea of lava seemed to obey Kudai Jiang's orders and rapidly gathered in front of him, forming a barrier. At the same time, flame runes formed layers of barriers on top of the lava. Good reaction. His defensive power is something not even life star experts can break. Jiang Zijin was impressed by Kudai Jiang's quick reactions in the face of danger. Even Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs had to nod inside as well. Flame cultivators were the true warriors. Just this rapid reaction speed wasn't something alchemists like them could compare to. The saber image crashed into Kudai Jiang's defenses. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin could only stare dumbfounded as this defense which not even life star experts would necessarily be able to break was easily pierced as if it was tofu in front of the saber image. The sea of lava split in two. A huge gorge appeared in the bottom. Suddenly, the lava in the air exploded, and a figure flew out. It's Kudai Jiang. He's not dead. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin let out startled cries. At this time, Kudai Jiang was covered in blood, and his aura was falling. Although he wasn't dead, he was clearly heavily injured. As for Long Chen's spear, despite being a king item, it shattered after he used the fifth form of Split the Heavens. Long Chen let go of it, and its hilt turned into dust before it could reach the ground. Chapter 1372 Celestial Spirit Flame Sharing Art Translator Born to be if Long Chen had a suitable weapon, Kudai Jiang would probably be a dead man by now. Looking at the fragments of his king item, Long Chen couldn't help but miss Blood Drinker. As soon as he had started storing up power, he had felt that this king item had reached its limit, and so he hadn't been able to accumulate enough power before unleashing this move. As a result, his king item shattered, causing his attack's power to drop again. Even so, the fifth form of Split the Heavens still shocked Long Chen. Split the Heavens was truly worthy of being the heaven-splitting battle sect's core divine technique. Just using it once used up half his spiritual yuan. Considering how much spiritual yuan he had, it was clear how terrifying this move was. If it hadn't been for his weapon, a full-strength attack using up over half his spiritual yuan was not something Kudai Jiang would have been able to block. This was a move that Long Chen couldn't use twice in one fight. With his experience using the fifth form of Split the Heavens, Long Chen could understand how the heaven-splitting battle sect had managed to be the head of the three great sects. Just with the nine forms of Split the Heavens, they had been able to dominate the land. After a brief moment of shock, Long Chen shot after Kudai Jiang. Of these people, only Kudai Jiang was a real expert. The rest were just alchemists he didn't need to worry about. Kudai Jiang was furious as well as unwilling. He was unable to accept this loss. He was a rank 9 celestial and had become a flame cultivator in the Xianchen realm. 
It wasn't that his alchemy talent hadn't been good enough, but that he was fundamentally a person who liked to fight. Starting from the Xi'anshan realm, he had never tasted defeat against someone in the same realm. He had once taken a stroll to various sects to exchange pointers with their experts. He had also been sent to assist the fight in a land of devils. He had killed countless devils, increasing his fame. However, now he had lost to someone who wasn't even a celestial, and he still couldn't understand how he had lost. Seeing Long Chen coming at him, Hu Jiang knew he didn't have the power to block him any longer. Taking a deep breath, Wing suddenly appeared on his back and he vanished, reappearing beside Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin. Long Chen was startled, as expected. Hu Dei Jiang was truly powerful. His movement technique could escape the lock of his divine sense. However, he also noticed that Hu Dei Jiang's aura had dropped another level after using it. Long Chen turned to face the four of them. He wanted to know just what trump cards they still had left. I want to kill Long Chen. Will you help me? asked Hu Jiang. No problem. We have to kill Long Chen, or we'll all be heavily punished. Dan Yangsu immediately agreed. The situation had progressed to an extremely strange point. Their original plan was already ruined. Long San was Long Chen. For Long Chen to randomly kill people in the Heaven Dragon Flame region, there was no way to push all the responsibility onto Jiang Zijin. Zhuo Xiangxiang also wouldn't be able to escape this responsibility. The only thing that would suppress the aftermath of this matter was to kill Long Chen before anything. When the time came, they and Zhuo Xiangxiang would definitely be punished. But as long as Long Chen was killed, there would be room to discuss things. The worst case was that they would simply refuse to accept the responsibility. And with something as complicated as this, it was true that it was difficult to truly blame one party. By spreading the blame and smoothing things over, things could be settled. That was why Long Chen had to die. But for Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin to kill Long Chen, it was clearly impossible. Hu Dei Jiang was their only hope. I agree. Long Chen is the enemy of Pill Valley. We'll fully support you, said Kan Dongs. Brother Ku, we know what to do. Fight all out but I still hope you can leave him with one breath left. I want to play this bastard to death. Jiang Zijin smiled sinisterly. All right then, I've made my preparations. You should prepare as well. Hu Dei Jiang took a deep breath. His forehead suddenly split open and blood poured out. That was his purest spirit blood. His spirit blood condensed into a rune that spread through his body. From a distance, it looked like his body had cracked all over. In truth. The lines of blood covering him were also composed of countless runes. At this time, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin also formed hand seals, and blood poured out of their foreheads. Flame energy erupted from all around the three of them. Their bodies became illusory, and three streams of energy shot toward Ku Jiang. An explosive sound came from Ku Jiang's body. He let out a shriek as if experiencing some kind of torment. His skin suddenly exploded, revealing his flesh beneath it. They could see his muscles, veins, and arteries. His bulging muscles shrank. He instantly became skinny. It was like a fatty had suddenly gotten into shape. Except his skin was still gone, and he appeared extremely frightening. Boom. Hu Dei Jiang's body was covered by flame runes, which formed his new skin. He now looked like a flame monster. Flower circles had appeared in his pupils and his aura had reached a shocking level. Long Chen, you can die happily. This is Pill Valley's secret art, the celestial spirit flame sharing art. I've gathered all their energy, and death is your only end. Hu Dei Jiang's voice was now extremely strange. It was like several people were speaking with him, and one of those people was a woman. Hu Dei Jiang seemed like a completely different person. His aura was violent and mixed. Flames continuously surged out of him like he was an unstable volcano. Long Chen looked at the distant Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin. Their eyes were closed, and their auras had vanished. They had used some secret technique to transfer all their energy to Ku Dei Jiang. A sword appeared in his hand, and he threw it at Jiang Zijin. Shockingly, the sword went straight through his body without harming him. It was like the current Jiang Zijin was nothing more than an illusion. Ha ha ha, it's useless. 
If the celestial spirit flame sharing art had such a fatal weakness, how could it be one of Pill Valley's secret arts? I don't mind telling you this. This art uses heavenly Tao energy as the guide and spiritual strength as the bridge. The power of their souls, earth flames, and spiritual yuan is all mine. As for the three of them, they are protected by heavenly Tao energy and are between reality and illusion. Your attacks are useless against them, sneered Kudajiang. This secret art was something Pill Valley did not transmit. Only rank 9 celestials were allowed to learn it, and during that process, they were harshly warned not to transmit it. Furthermore, they were only allowed to use this kind of secret art when there was danger to their lives. If they used it randomly, they would also be heavily punished. Pill Valley's disciples rarely exchanged blows with others, and their lives were essentially never in danger. That was why the outside world had essentially never heard of such a technique. It really is not bad. Long Chen nodded. He had to admit that this technique was very powerful. It allowed the four of them to share all their power. Yet, he shook his head. However, it seems you're bragging a bit too hard. Yes, they've shared their energy with you. But how much of that can you use? Their souls, earth flames, and spiritual yuan are all different. Now that you've mixed it all together, it looks very frightening. But just how much power can you really use? HMPH. What do you understand? Although I can't perfectly merge all their power, I can use it to increase the power of my physical body. My power has now reached an unprecedented height. Power is what I specialize in. And now I'll let you see what absolute power is. Kudajiang shot toward Long Chen, causing the void to explode. Sensing this huge power coming toward him, Long Chen smiled coldly. Then let me see what this absolute power is. Boom. Blinding light exploded like a sun. Their fists had collided, and they were now bleeding profusely. They were evenly matched. This is just a start. I'll teach you what despair is. Kudajiang roared, and the nine flowers behind his back revolved. Heaven and Earth's energy was rapidly sucked away by him. In that instant, he seemed to become the ruler of this world. Kudajiang's power had been boosted to an inconceivable level with Dan Yangsu, Kan Dong's and Jiang Zijin's support. He shot at Long Chen. However, Long Chen was still fearless. His divine ring shook and his 108,000 stars revolved. His green scales blossomed with light, and he also attacked. Boom, boom, boom. The two of them fought using the most primitive method, competing purely in power. Long Chen's scales burst apart, and he began to bleed from the impacts. But Jiang's flame skin was constantly exploding and spurting out blood as well. Their eyes were scarlet as they fought a violent battle, both sides trying to suppress the other in power. After continuous fierce exchanges, they were both covered in blood. But Jiang was shocked to find that even with his current power, he was unable to defeat Long Chen. He was startled and infuriated, almost going mad. Bastard. Die. Jiang suddenly let out a furious roar and a fiery red sword appeared. Its ancient runes lit up as it mercilessly slashed at Long Chen. Chapter 1373 The Blazing Dragon Cauldron's Power Translator Born to be a fiery red sword appeared, cutting apart heaven and earth as it slashed toward Long Chen. It was a terrifying ancestral item. An ancestral item? I have one too. Long Chen sneered, and a cauldron appeared in his hand. He used the Blazing Dragon Cauldron to block the sword. Boom. The collision of ancestral items caused space to crumble and heaven and earth to be ripped apart. Long Chen and Kudajiang were both blown back. That's, that's the Eastern Xuan region's core treasure. The Blazing Dragon Cauldron. Kudajiang's expression changed as he thought of how one of Pill Tower's ancestral items had been snatched away by Long Chen. He immediately recognized the Blazing Dragon Cauldron now and he turned green with fright. Although his sword was also an ancestral item, its age did not surpass a few centuries. The time it had been nourished for was very short. Although it could unleash some of an ancestral item's power, there was still quite a distance between it and true ancestral items. An ancestral item, it was a weapon transmitted down through generations and nourished for many, many years. As for the Blazing Dragon Cauldron, it was a true ancestral item that had been passed down for tens of thousands of years and had been nourished by generation after generation of tower masters. 
Its item spirit had already gained intelligence, and it was incredibly powerful. Compared to it, his sword was like a newborn baby. The blazing dragon cauldron suddenly began to shine, and the sword was sucked inside it. It seemed it wanted to refine it. Bastard, return my sword. Hu Jiang's eyes immediately reddened. That sword was incredibly precious to him. He had been nourishing it for a long time, and it was now very adapted to his soul. He had gained the item spirit's recognition, or he wouldn't have been able to unleash its power. The blazing dragon cauldron was shuddering as the sword did its utmost to escape. It wanted to fly out, but it wasn't a match for the blazing dragon cauldron. If Hu Jiang didn't save it, it would be crippled. Hu Jiang charged forward to attack, but he was blocked by Long Chen. Don't worry, the blazing dragon cauldron won't kill it. I couldn't bear to do such a thing, comforted Long Chen. Of course, he couldn't bear to do such a thing. That was an ancestral item an absolute treasure. He definitely wouldn't let the blazing dragon cauldron destroy it, but he would need to give it a lesson. Bastard, you are forcing me. Hu Jiang seemed to go insane. He suddenly formed strange hand seals. Divine Brahma, hear your disciple's prayer. Bestow me divine power. Disciple is willing to use his life to open the gate to gods. Unleash divine punishment to kill this person in front of me. Following Hu Jiang's crazy roar. Long Chen suddenly felt the world change. It lost all its color. As for Hu Jiang, he rapidly aged, his life energy rapidly fading. In the distance, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin seemed to be struggling. However, their souls were connected to Hu Jiang, and the prayer was complete. They couldn't resist. That strange energy caused them to rapidly age as well. In just a breath's time, the four of them aged to the point that they looked to be in the fifties. The beautiful Dan Yangsu had turned into an old woman covered in wrinkles. A lotus rapidly appeared in Hu Jiang's hand. It grew, and wherever it went, the world crumbled. The entire heaven dragon flame region began to quiver. Long Chen's expression finally changed. This was definitely a terrifying move. He had never felt this kind of energy before, but he could sense that it had the power to annihilate him. He didn't dare to tarry. Forming hand seals. Chanting quickly filled the air. Chanting that sounded like gods were murmuring. Huo Long. Prepare yourself. Our fight starts now. Long Chen clasped his right elbow with his left hand. A golden sphere rapidly began to grow in his hand. With the Nirvana scripture activated. Boundless flame energy poured over from throughout the heaven dragon flame region. Rushing toward him like hundreds of streams. The flame sphere rapidly grew. One meter. Ten meters. A hundred meters. The flame runes pouring over were all absorbed by the golden sphere. The golden sphere eventually reached three thousand meters. At that point, it didn't look like a ball of flames, but a golden star. Space was crumbling all around it. The world was chaotic. There was no longer any order in this world. Just die. All your struggles are useless. Divine punishment. Lord Brahma's fury, the lotus in Hu Jiang's hand shot forward, leaving behind a line of black, crumbled space. Hu Jiang had gone completely insane. That magma body technique he used was a self-destructive move with quite a few side effects. Merging the power of four people also had great side effects. However, since they were split across four people, it was a bit better. After half a year, they should all be recovered but losing half a year of their golden cultivation time was still a large price to pay. Seeing that they had still been unable to capture Long Chen, Hu Jiang had finally used his final trump card. He had used his ancestral item, a secret trump card he didn't want anyone to know about. However, not only had it failed, but it had also been taken away by the blazing dragon cauldron that had made him crazy, and as a result, he used this sacrificial art. Using his own longevity and essence blood, he offered sacrifice to his god, summoning divine power to eliminate Long Chen. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin were forced to suffer with him. In this kind of situation where they were under the control of Hu Jiang, their longevity was also stripped away. The three of them were infuriated, especially Dan Yangsu. The huge lotus possessed endless destructive power as it shot at Long Chen. He could smell the scent of death approaching. 
his 108,000 stars all blazed with power, while Huo Long unleashed all its energy. The golden sphere in his hand grew larger and larger as all his power poured into it. Starfall. The sphere in Long Chen's hand shot toward the huge lotus. When Starfall collided with the lotus, time seemed to stand still. When they clashed, they came to a pause. In the end, they merged into one, and right after, blinding light exploded, light more intense than the sun. Boom. The sky was smashed to pieces. It was like the world had been destroyed. Iron Pot. If you still don't help me, I really will die. I won't let you off even as a ghost. Seeing the shock waves coming, Long Chen could only take out the Iron Pot and roar at it. Long Chen saw that space was crumbling. If struck, he would definitely die. At this time, the Blazing Dragon Cauldron was focused on sealing the sword and couldn't help him. He couldn't only place his hopes on the Iron Pot. He had known that the Iron Pot was an absolute treasure from the start. It was just very stingy and refused to help him. Now he was warning it that if it continued being such a lazy scumbag, he would die. He didn't know if it was because it heard his call, but the rust at the bottom of the pot floated off and formed layers of light, creating a powerful defense. Boom. The terrifying shock waves struck the barrier. It was instantly blown to bits, causing Long Chen to turn green. Fuck. Was this a scam? I thought you were badass Long Chen tightly grasped the handles of the pot and hid behind it. He prepared himself to be blown apart. At the very least, he would lose a layer of flesh. However, what pleasantly surprised him was that the shock waves merely blew by like the wind when they reached him. They didn't injure him at all. The fuck? The iron pot is mighty. Long Chen almost hugged the pot and kissed it. But seeing the black bottom of it, he abandoned that thought. He put it away and looked into the distance. This terrifying attack had completely blown away the lava. The sea of lava below him was temporarily empty. Even the huge landmass in the distance was covered in wild cracks. He had just managed to take a look when a wave of the displaced lava returned and crashed against each other, blowing into the air. The sound of crashing waves continued for a while. Four figures were blown out of the lava. Originally, Hu Jiang had been protected by divine energy after unleashing the lotus. But now that divine energy had faded and the four of them had exited their special combined state. Hude Jiang, you damn bastard, I'll definitely kill you. A crazy shriek suddenly rang out as an old woman, who was Dan Yangsu, charged out. Everyone wanted beauty, especially women, and especially beautiful women. To have her beauty stolen made Dan Yangsu go insane. Of course, Kan Dongs and Jiang Zijin were also infuriated. They had lost the majority of their longevity and they had no idea if they could restore it. They even formed an urge to kill Ku Jiang. At this time, Ku Jiang was covered in blood. His skin was gone, and his manifestation had faded. He had no energy left to heal. He was filled with hatred. Long Chen, you've won. But don't worry, you'll still die. I'll slowly savor how you die. Ku Jiang had no choice but to admit his defeat. He, someone at the third heaven stage of Jade Core had joined hands with three experts at the second heaven stage, but had still lost to Long Chen, someone who had just reached the Jade Core Realm. Furthermore, their defeat was extremely miserable. Is that so? I don't think so. Long Chen put away the blazing dragon cauldron that had completely suppressed the sword. He slashed a golden flame blade at the four of them. Chapter 1374 Terrifying Monster Translator Born to be Long Chen you won't be able to kill us, unless you forever stay in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Your death is doubtless. Hu Jiang completely ignored Long Chen's attack. Buzz. Just at this moment, the four of them, Hu Jiang, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin, each of them took out a jade plate and crushed it. Long Chen's flame blade slashed straight through their bodies, but it didn't injure them. They seemed to be like illusions. These are teleportation talismans? No, they're different. Long Chen's expression changed. This is Pill Valley's protective talisman. Do you think an idiot like you would know about it? In just ten breaths, we'll be transported back to Pill Valley. Furthermore, spatial energy will be protecting us. Even if you were ten times stronger, you wouldn't be able to harm a single hair on our bodies, said Kondongs coldly. Long Chen. 
once you exit the Heaven Dragon Flame region, you'll definitely die. I advise you to stay inside. I want to bring in the heads of your Dragon Blood Legions members one by one. I heard you also have quite a few beauties that are so beautiful they can cause the downfall of a nation. Don't worry, I'll look after them. Perhaps 10 years from now, you'll be able to see their children. Don't worry, I, Jiang Zijin, guarantee it. Jiang Zijin's expression was twisted. His hatred for Long Chen had reached a peak. Long Chen's gaze was icy cold. He raised the pot and smashed Jiang Zijin. But the pot, which had always been the bane of formations, actually passed straight through Jiang Zijin's body without harming him. Haha, <laughs> are you angry? Good. I hope you don't die, Long Chen, because I want to make your life worse than death. Jiang Zijin laughed at Long Chen's rising killing intent. How was this possible? He had clearly been able to kill them, but the final result was still them getting away? Was this due to the golden fate lines the Eastern Wasteland Bell had mentioned? Long Chen was incredibly infuriated. He refused to allow anyone to threaten the people by his side. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had said that Celestials were protected by great karmic luck. Defeating one of them could be easy, but to kill that person would be extremely, extremely difficult. That was because the heavenly deos would always help them. Luck would always be on their side. Unless you had absolute power, it was essentially impossible to kill a rank 9 celestial. They were the favorites of heaven and earth. As for killing four at once, that was even less likely. Seeing their bodies grow fainter and more indistinct, Long Chen clenched his teeth so hard that they creaked. Boom. Suddenly, the sea of lava exploded, and it was as if something at the bottom had caved in. The sea of lava rapidly descended, forming a whirlpool. At the same time, a terrifying pressure descended that caused the world to violently shake. Four panicked figures suddenly fell from the sky. They were Kuo Jiang, Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin. The four of them had been on their way, and the space in front of them had just been about to stabilize for them to be taken away. However, what they saw in front of them was not Pill Valley but still the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Seeing Long Chen staring at them with killing intent, their expressions immediately changed. Impossible. I refuse to believe this. This is definitely just a dream, cried Jiang Zijin. Long Chen appeared beside him in an instant, kicking him in the crotch. Jiang Zijin was just an alchemist, and without the protection of his flame energy, his lower body exploded. He let out a miserable shriek, but it was cut off halfway. That was because a hand was tightly clenching his throat. Long Chen smiled icily. Here, let me give you some pain so you know it's not a dream. The other three were all flabbergasted. They didn't understand what was going on, but they knew they were doomed. Boom. Another explosive sound rang out, causing the entire Heaven Dragon Flame region to rock. The whirlpool beneath them vanished, and following that, the lava began to rise higher and higher. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he turned to flee, but in that instant, a sensation that caused his whole body to turn cold appeared. Something terrible was about to appear in this world. He suddenly thought of the divine crystals he had taken and also of the collision between Starfall and the giant lotus. When the lava had been blown away, it seemed that they had been right above that spot. He fled as fast as possible. As for Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Kodajiang. They still didn't understand what was happening. Suddenly, a huge figure appeared out of the lava. Seeing that monstrosity, the three of them instantly turned pale. It could only be described as a monster a hundred miles tall. It had horns on its head and wings on its back. Moreover, it had the body of an ape but the head of an ox. There was also a long tail with a sharp, bony point at the end. Lord Brahma, you damn bastard. After you were done with us. You then sealed us and used our power to raise your descendants. You damnable shameless bastard. That huge monster let out a heaven-shaking roar. An invisible ripple spread. Dan Yangsu, Kan Dongs, and Jiang Zijin were blown away. Vomiting blood. Blood poured out of their ears and their heads almost exploded. Horrified. The three of them summoned wings and fled. This monster was too terrifying. Oh, damnable maggots. You're definitely Lord Brahma's descendants die. The monster let out a roar, and a huge claw slammed toward the three of them. Wherever the claw went, space was torn to shreds. 
Hu Jiang's wings suddenly shook, and his body seemed to teleport a hundred miles away. This was his final burst of energy. He managed to escape, but the exhausted Kondongs and Dan Yangsu were blown to pieces. Even their souls were turned to dust. Damn human race. Lord Brahma's descendants are all shameless scammers. You can all die. The monster then sent another claw at Hu Jiang. No. Hu Jiang let out an unwilling roar, but he was powerless to run away. He was killed. HMPH. There's another maggot? Die. The monster then turned toward the distant Long Chen. Its huge wings flapped once, and it tore through space, appearing beside Long Chen in an instant. Here, Long Chen tossed out Jiang Zijin behind him. He crashed into the monster's head, while Long Chen continued fleeing. The monster's wings suddenly slammed into the lava, and a maelstrom erupted. Long Chen was like an ant blown into the air and further into the distance. Jiang Zijin let out a sharp cry. He was powerless to resist as he flew closer and closer to the monster's mouth. Jiang Zijin felt like he had entered a nightmare. Just as he was about to reach the mouth, the mouth opened, and over a hundred teeth could be seen flickering with a cold light. No, when Jiang Zijin was about to enter its mouth, the monster blew out a breath of air. Who knew how many millennia it had been since the monster had brushed its teeth. The stench was overpowering. However, this stench was better than the fragrance of flowers to Jiang Zijin, because he was still alive. He came to a pause, and his remaining upper body landed in a huge hand. Tell me, where is Lord Brahma? demanded the monster. I I don't know, stuttered Jiang Zijin. If you don't know, then just die. The monster clenched its hand, killing Jiang Zijin as easy as swatting a mosquito. Little fellow up ahead, I want to ask you some questions. The monster suddenly called out to Long Chen. Little fellow, Long Chen was stunned. Not maggot? Could it be that there was room for discussion? Please, ask away. Junior will not hide anything that he knows. I am not Lord Brahma's descendant. I came to kill his descendants. In fact, the reason you could break out of your seal was because of me. I was the one who removed the divine crystals from the formation cried out Long Chen. First. He brought up how he had no relationship with its enemies. Then he mentioned that it owed him a favor. Tell me, do you know where Lord Brahma is? Demanded the monster as bluntly as ever. It didn't seem to believe Long Chen. I don't know where Lord Brahma is, but I know where his descendants are. I can bring you to them. Really of course. But before that, you have to agree to one of my conditions. Bastard. Do you know who you're talking to? You dare to demand conditions from me? You want to die, is that it? Then fine, kill me. But let me warn you, other than me, everyone else here is Lord Brahma's descendants. They won't tell you any information. If you kill me, you'll never find Lord Brahma. The monster was silent for a moment before it demanded, What is your condition? It's very simple. I want you to kill every single one of Lord Brahma's disciples in this world. As Long Chen looked at this monster, a new plan hatched in his mind. Chapter 1375 Have at it, little monster. Translator. Born to be that's easy. The monster's abdomen suddenly expanded like a balloon. It opened its mouth, and a violent whistling noise spread in every direction. Space exploded wherever the sound went. It rapidly spread beyond the horizon and continued to the end of the world. But Long Chen was outside the scope of the attack. Suddenly. The entire Heaven Dragon Flame region rocked violently like it had been knocked out of balance. Long Chen jumped in shock. He hadn't expected this monster to be so terrifying. Just a single one of its attacks covered the entire Heaven Dragon Flame region, let alone ordinary disciples. Even if Ku Jiang and the others were alive, they wouldn't be able to resist such power. To think that he had tried to run from such a monster before, that plan was clearly unrealistic now. This monster's power surpassed his current understanding. All right, the only human left here is you. Let me warn you, you better not trick me, or I'll immediately kill you, threatened the monster. Long Chen was a bit dumbfounded. It seemed this monster's intelligence wasn't very high, or it would have threatened him with something more terrifying than death. Don't worry, we share the same enemy. Your enemies are my enemies. Tricking you doesn't benefit me at all. Helping you is helping me. In truth, Long Chen hadn't wanted to kill so many people. 
he had only done this to win the monster's trust. Although it hadn't said anything to that effect, Long Chen could sense that its wariness against him had dropped from the beginning. All right then, bring me to Lord Brahma's descendants. I'll kill them all. That bastard Lord Brahma used us like fools. This enmity must be avenged. That monster raged with fury whenever it mentioned Lord Brahma. Long Chen truly wanted to know what secrets there were between it and Lord Brahma. But his intuition told him that this fellow was too wary of humans. And if he rashly asked about it, it would backfire. Let's go. I'll bring you to the exit. I hope you didn't destroy it. Long Chen began to fly off. You're too slow. Get on my shoulder and point which direction it is, shouted the monster. Long Chen could only fly onto the monster's shoulder helplessly. Only once he landed on it did he truly sense how terrifying it was. Just a single one of its hairs was many times thicker than his waist. How had something this giant even noticed someone as small as him? Boom. Long Chen pointed a direction. The monster's tail swung, and it took a single step, rushing off. It was truly fast like lightning. It was even faster than the cloud chasing heaven swallowing sparrow. In less than an incense stick's time, they crossed a distance that would take Long Chen several days. Fortunately, the transportation formation was still present. Its protective runes hadn't crumbled. This transportation formation seems to be a bit small, said Long Chen. The transportation formation was 3,000 meters and was classified as a giant one, but it wasn't even enough to fit the monster's foot. Runes suddenly covered the monster's body, and it rapidly shrank down until it was only 300 meters tall. It then stepped onto the formation. Long Chen took out a jade plate and placed it on the center of the transportation formation's altar. Its runes activated and space twisted. When Long Chen's eyesight recovered, he found that he had appeared at the original transportation location. However, at this time, there was no longer anyone present. That was because there were still several days until the month was up. Normally, the disciples would stay in the Heaven Dragon Flame region for the whole one month limit. They would only come out on the final day, so there was no one waiting to greet them. Lord Brahma, you bastard, this is the price for playing tricks on the Aldevil race. Boom. The monster's body suddenly grew larger again, and a terrifying aura spread. Violent power brewed, about to burst out, causing Long Chen's expression to change. This bastard's going to kill me. Long Chen felt like his whole body was about to tear in the face of the monster's aura. Just at this moment, the black pot took the initiative to appear beside him. Black runes spread from it, covering Long Chen. Boom. The monster's aura erupted, blowing Long Chen away. He smashed through a dozen buildings, only stabilizing hundreds of miles away. As expected, the devil race's monsters are all bastards. Just wait. Long Chen cursed inside, borrowing the broken buildings as a screen. He slipped away. Just at this moment. A huge formation appeared in the sky. Countless alarms began to blare. One powerful aura after another rose as experts were drawn over. What scoundrel dares to run amok in Pill Valley? A life star expert was the first to rush over. But as soon as it saw the huge monster, he immediately turned pale. Boom. As soon as he appeared, the devil monster's tail whipped over, killing him. Its attack also destroyed the buildings it passed through. Dozens of life star experts appeared, but the devil monster blew them apart with a single attack from its claw. In front of it, these life star experts were unable to bear even a single blow. The Aldevil race monster's abdomen suddenly expanded. Long Chen saw it from a distance and jumped in fright. It was about to unleash that move again. Don't do it. I still have stuff to do. Long Chen couldn't help but curse inside. If it used this move here. All of Pill Valley would be destroyed. Long Chen didn't care about Pill Valley, but he still had things he wanted to plunder first. What evildoer dares to be impudent in Pill Valley? Brahma Formation. Activate. At this moment, an ancient and majestic voice rang out. The runes on the countless buildings in Pill Valley lit up, wrapping around the Aldevil monster. Boom. The monster let out its attack, but it struck the formation's barrier and was cancelled out. Divine flame chains. Seal. A large group of experts suddenly arrived. When Long Chen saw them, he jumped again. They were all life star experts, and there were hundreds of them. 
Some of these people had extremely condensed auras and were clearly much stronger than ordinary life star experts. They should be at the late life star realm or even the peak. These people immediately formed a formation. A flame chain appeared in each one of their hands, and they tightly bound the Aldeville monster. Foolish human race, you'll pay a price for your foolishness. No one can play tricks on my Aldeville race. The monster let out a furious roar, and its body shook. The runes on its body began to shine with a blinding light. Boom. The chains binding it were blown apart. Those life star experts coughed up blood and flew back. Watch out. An expert cried out. But it was too late. The Aldeville monster's mouth opened, and a huge sphere shot out. Boom. Anything in front of that sphere was blown to bits. Whether it was a human or a building. This was different from its previous whistle attack. That had been a wide area attack that was easily blocked. But this sphere's power was condensed. And it tore through the formation's restrictions. A huge line of destruction appeared in Pill Valley. The Grand Pill Valley had been cut in two. Hurry and alert the Flame Divine Hall's elders to get the hell out of seclusion. We won't be able to last much longer. Also, alert the Valley Master to come. Cried someone. Good. Work hard. I look favorably upon you. More and more experts were rushing over, but they still weren't able to stop the Aldeville monster. Long Chen immediately rushed off. He went straight toward the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. Within Pill Valley, there were two important locations for medicinal ingredients. One was the Thousand Treasure Field, and the other was the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. The Thousand Treasure Field was a medicinal field, while the Thousand Treasure Pavilion was where those medicines were stored. Some medicines would be sealed when they reached a certain age in Pill Valley. They could then be directly taken when an alchemist needed them. The Thousand Treasure Pavilion was Pill Valley's largest precious medicine storage house. Long Chen urgently needed to go there, because he was hoping to find the ingredients for the Divine Gate Star. The world was constantly shaking, and terrifying explosions would occasionally erupt. Clearly, the Aldeville monster was too terrifying. Even this many experts with their supreme grand formation were unable to suppress it. With each passing moment, Pill Valley was being destroyed. Long San, what are you running around for? The alarm's ringing. Hurry up and get to the underground shelter. Long Chen had only just arrived at the Thousand Treasure Pavilion when a Life Star Elder shouted at him. He was just an elder of the Outer Circle and didn't know the true plan. So he thought Long Chen really was on his side. This elder was part of the radical faction, and because of his post here, he couldn't participate in the battle outside. There was also another elder present. After all, the Thousand Treasure Pavilion was an extremely important location and needed guards. There were originally other disciples present, but after the alarm, those disciples had all fled to the shelter. After all, for those disciples, the slightest shockwave would kill them. They would only cause trouble. So they were sent away. Something major happened. The monster outside injured Protector's Huo. His upper head was destroyed. And he urgently needs the Yun Yang Soul Replenishing Elixir and the Undying Lotus Heart Grass to protect his soul. I came to get him the medicines. Long Chen acted extremely panicked and in a rush. Really? Hurry then. Hearing that Elders Huo had been injured, he immediately moved to open the storage house for Long Chen. Hold it. Those two precious medicines are extremely high tier and require an order from the Grand Elders to obtain. The other elder stopped them. He was from the conservative faction and was inflexible. Fuck off. Long Chen furiously slapped him across the face. That elder collapsed on the ground. Unconscious. Chapter 1376 Plundering Everything Translator. Born to be Long San. You. The elder was shocked. He had attacked a superior. He would be gravely punished. There's no time to explain. To save protectors Huo. I, Long San, will take on all the responsibility for this. Promised Long Chen righteously. The elder praised. Good. To care so deeply about relationship. It's no wonder protectors Huo views you so highly and a grand elder would take you as their final apprentice. They both must view your moral character highly. Exactly. His moral character was truly impeccable. He even admired himself for this quality of his. Elder, help me open the door. Quick, urged Long Chen. The rumbling outside was growing more and more intense. 
The Aldevil monster was clearly in a bitter battle. This was Pill Valley, a place with countless formations and experts. Although that monster was terrifying, Pill Valley wasn't so worthless. He didn't have a good opinion of the monster's chances. The stone gate slowly opened. The elder said, those medicines are located I know where they are. Don't worry about it. Long Chen rushed on through. After a large corridor, he saw a huge underground space. This space was thousands of miles long and was brimming with shelves filled with jade bottles. These jade bottles were spatial storage items. Inside were matured medicinal ingredients. Each shelf explained the name, tier, age, quality, and other information about the medicines stored in it. That made it convenient for disciples to take them out. Blazing Dragon Cauldron. Get to work. He directly tossed the shelves into the primal chaos space, not even looking at what he was taking in. His goal was simply to take everything. On his own, he was too slow. The blazing dragon cauldron had its own space and could draw in objects. There were far too many precious medicines here. Long Chen couldn't even get them all. The blazing dragon cauldron appeared, and it began to suck in the shelves. They shrank as they entered the cauldron and it was even faster at gathering them than Long Chen. In truth, these shelves had formations protecting them, let alone taking a whole shelf. Even taking ten different medicines would cause an alarm. However, Long Chen was benefiting from the Aldevil monster. Its rampage had destroyed the formations protecting the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. That was why there was no alarm. These medicines were split into different regions and the ones below the ninth tier were so worthless that Long Chen didn't even have time to get them. The Thousand Treasure Pavilion was split into two areas. One was the place to store medicinal ingredients, and the other stored medicinal pills. After plundering the medicinal ingredients, he turned to the medicinal pills. This region wasn't very large. There were only a hundred shelves. Because pills were small, a single bottle could store over a thousand of them and each shelf had tens of thousands of bottles on it. If these medicinal pills were taken out, they would form a mountain. There's still something behind this door. Just as Long Chen took all the shelves, he saw a stone door behind where they had been. It was protected by runes, but those runes were now dim. Long Chen split the stone door with a fiery red sword. Without a formation protecting it, this stone door was extremely weak in front of an ancestral item. Long Chen praised Kudajiang's ancestral item. It really wasn't bad. After it had been suppressed by the blazing dragon cauldron, he had placed a slave mark on it and could use it. The stone door split apart, revealing a room inside. It wasn't a very large room, but the walls were covered in small cases. These cases had runes revolving around them, and they twinkled like stars. This is the star condensing pill formation Long Chen was shocked. He looked up and as expected, there was an image of a starry sky above, but this image was very dim, clearly, it wasn't working any longer, Long Chen opened one of the cases, and a small monkey shot out, its body rapidly grew to become a 3 meter furious golden monkey, it immediately attacked Long Chen, when Long Chen met its punch with his own fist, he was knocked back half a step, he hadn't expected it to be so powerful, it had to be known that he had not reached the Jade Core realm, and ordinary Jade Core experts wouldn't be able to even endure a single punch from him. The monkey roared furiously and attacked once more. Long Chen snorted and used the power of his 108,000 stars. This time, his punch blew apart the monkey. After a burst of golden light faded, it revealed a small medicinal pill rolling on the ground. Long Chen picked it up. Tenth Tier Pill tyrannical bone marrow cleansing pill his pill sovereign memories floated up he could only recall how to refine this pill but not how to use it in the eastern wasteland long chen had known very little about alchemy he had learned that the alchemist ranks were pill apprentice pill adept pill master pill king pill emperor pill ancestor pill venerate pill saint and pill sovereign pill sovereign was supposed to correlate with the ninth tier in other words, the peak was supposed to be the ninth rank. However, after arriving in Pill Valley, he had learned that this knowledge had been nothing more than the sayings of the secular world. The truth was that no one dared to call themselves anything greater than a pill ancestor. This related to the secrets of the pill Dao. Nowadays, 
the alchemy ranks came to a stop at the pill ancestor level. No one dared to call themselves a pill saint, let alone a pill sovereign. It was like the alchemy path had been severed. Within Pill Valley, he had found ancient texts that had mentioned the rank of pill sovereign. Those texts were very vague, but they seemed to be saying that pill sovereigns were on the same level as those great martial sovereigns of the past. However, there were no details. He had gone through all the ancient texts he could read, but hadn't found anything else. After learning the second volume of the Nirvana scripture, many things that hadn't been there before had appeared in Long Chen's mind. However, right now, he couldn't go through all of them. He found that only when he advanced to a certain level would some pill formulas appear in his mind. And it just so happened that those new pill formulas would be the ones that he needed the most at the time. Even he himself didn't know how far the path of an alchemist could go. So seeing a 10th tier pill shocked him. This was a 10th tier pill, and it had been nourished for who knew how many years under the formation. Its medicinal energy had reached a shocking level, and it had even given birth to a spirit that possessed great power. I've struck gold. Long Chen recovered from his shock and immediately took away all the cases on the wall. Now it was about time to go. If he took too long, that elder would get suspicious. He immediately ran out and then handed over two kinds of medicines. I won't make things hard on you. See, they are the two that I took. The elder checked them and confirmed that they were the ones Long Chen had mentioned. They were medicines that could save someone whose soul was about to disperse. How could I not trust you? Hurry up and go save Protectors Huo. Long Chen nodded. Many thanks. Once Protectors Huo heals, I will definitely tell him about your contribution. Goodbye. Long Chen left, and the elder was delighted. If Protectors Huo remembered him, he would be assigned to a much better spot than this place. He didn't know that he had just caused a huge calamity. When Long Chen left the Thousand Treasure Pavilion, he sensed the spatial fluctuations were growing more and more intense. In the distance, terrifying runes were flying. There was a formation forming a barrier there now, and the space inside was completely chaotic, making it impossible to see what was going on. He jumped to the top of a pavilion and looked around. He saw that several wide new streets had appeared in Pill Valley. Those were the masterpieces of the Aldevil monster. Now Pill Valley looked like the mane of a beautiful lion that had randomly had parts of its hair clipped away. It looked extremely ugly. All of Pill Valley was empty now. The disciples were hiding, and even soul transformation experts were gone. In a battle of this level, only life star experts were qualified to participate. Let's see if I can get some more profit. Long Chen truly wanted to see just who was stronger, Pill Valley or the Aldevil monster. In any case, he was the only one to come out of the Heaven Dragon Flame region, and no one here knew what had happened. He wasn't worried about being exposed. He also found that while the pot ignored him, it would still come out to help him at a critical time. The Aldevil monster had almost killed him when it had unleashed its aura, and it was the pot that had come out to protect him. That meant the pot was actually loyal. That gave him quite a bit of confidence. Most importantly, Long Chen wanted to know just what enmity the Aldevil monster had with Lord Brahma. It seemed to have been used by him. What kind of secret did this relate to? He was also very curious about the Nirvana scripture. Based on its name, it seemed to be a divine technique created by Lord Brahma. But why was it that when he saw his statue, he was so disgusted? Long Chen slowly approached the battle. Immediately, astral winds buffeted him, almost blowing him away. Damn, it's even stronger than I thought. Long Chen could only push his way forward slowly until he found a good place to watch. This seemed to be the base of a building. The building had been blown away, but there was still a stone pillar remaining to hide behind. The astral winds were like blades cutting his skin, causing him to clench his teeth in pain. Once a burst of wind passed, Long Chen stealthily stuck out his head. He couldn't help sucking in a cold gasp of air. Chapter 1377 The Valley Master Translator Born to be everything within 3,000 miles had been destroyed. The grand and luxurious buildings had been turned to rubble. Up in the air was a huge star whose light enveloped this space. That was Pill Valley's grand formation. It had sealed the location of the battle to avoid the entirety of Pill Valley being destroyed. Yet, 
This powerful formation still wasn't enough to stop the Aldeville monster's rampage. Bursts of energy still erupted out of its control, destroying the surroundings. Through layers and layers of mist, Long Chen managed to see hundreds of figures in the air, all of them wielding chains. They were currently fighting all out against the Aldeville monster. The battle was incredibly intense. He saw dozens of life star experts that were illusory bodies. That meant their physical bodies had already been destroyed and they could only fight with their Yuan spirits. They really are vicious, muttered Long Chen inside. For dozens of life star experts to have been reduced to their Yuan spirits, it seemed likely that quite a few people had already died. However, Pill Valley's power was truly shocking. No wonder it was said that no one dared to go against them. Just this number of life star experts was enough to dominate the continent. The 18 divine guards of the flame divine palace have arrived. Suddenly, 18 figures appeared, and each of them emitted violent auras. Blazing flames surged out of them. Those are true experts. Long Chen's heart shook. These 18 people were still life star experts, but their auras were much, much stronger than ordinary life star experts. They were true flame cultivators. You're finally here. The elders sighed in relief. The 18 of them immediately surrounded the Aldeville monster while forming identical hand seals. Their energy formed a huge flame ring around it. The flame ring shrank, binding the Aldeville monster. Following that, more and more flame rings appeared. A total of 18 of them materialized and bound the monster. It was instantly suppressed. The berserk energy raging in the air finally stabilized. Why did it take you so long? Were you planning on waiting until Pill Valley was annihilated roared one of the Grand Elders. Sorry, we rushed over as soon as we received the alarm. But, said one of the 18 experts. These 18 experts still had to restrain themselves in front of the Grand Elders. In the end, alchemists were more important to Pill Valley than flame cultivators. Don't make excuses. Hurry and seal this monster, roared the Grand Elder. He then suddenly recalled something and hastily said. Quick, go call back that person who went to alert the Valley Master. The Valley Master is still in seclusion. Hopefully, you'll make it in time. These 18 experts were most likely at the peak of the Life Star Realm. Their combat power was probably on the same level as Boss Bao and the others. Shocking Long Chen. No wonder they were called the 18 Divine Guards. However, what made him speechless was that these 18 people seemed to behave like sheep in front of that elder. What happened to their dignity? They should raise their blade and cut him as a warning. That made Long Chen feel disappointed. Did Lord Brahma not leave behind a single decent descendant? Since that's the case, you can all die. The Aldeville monster let out a roar, and golden scales suddenly appeared on his body. A pillar of light soared into the sky, blowing apart the grand formation. Not good. Everyone's expressions changed. The 18 divine guards formed hand seals and a sea of runes appeared around them, pouring toward the flame rings. Everyone else hastily unleashed their chains, binding the monster. Boom. Blood chi surged into the sky as the Aldeville monster entered a berserk state. A powerful chi wave blew back the experts surrounding him. Those experts who only possessed Yuan spirits were directly killed by this single attack. Lord Brahma, I didn't think your descendants would be so weak. You shameless bastard. Today I'll kill them all to tell you that there's always a price for deceiving the Aldeville race. The Aldeville monster suddenly took a step. The ground split apart, and a huge wave spread. The wave of earth contained an indomitable power. Retreat. Boom. It was too late. Any expert struck by the earth wave was instantly blown to smithereens. Fuck. Am I this unlucky? I'll lose my life just by watching the battle Long Chen's face turned green. He had only just come when this monster went berserk and unleashed such a destructive attack. This attack was incomparable to the attack it had used to slay the disciples in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. For even Life Star experts to be annihilated instantly, he didn't have any chance of survival if struck. Brother Pot, you're closer to me than a blood brother. Hurry and protect me. Other than you, no one else will help me. Long Chen took out the pot and placed it in front of him. He muttered a prayer. This kind of power was something not even the blazing dragon cauldron could block. However, the pot didn't make any movements, completely ignoring Long Chen. He cursed inside. 
Just as the earth wave was rapidly spreading and about to destroy all of Pill Valley, a large hand descended from the sky, ripples spread, and time seemed to freeze. That terrifying earth wave came to a stop and dissipated. You actually escaped from the heaven dragon flame region. An astonished voice rang out. A man stood in the air, his hands clasped behind his back. The man had shoulder-length hair and appeared to be in his thirties. His features were sharp and distinct. He was an imposing and handsome man. Immortal chi swirled around him, and it was as though he was bathed in divine light. Valley Master, all the despairing experts were ecstatic to see this man. He was the one with the greatest authority in Pill Valley, the Valley Master Yu Ziaoyan. He was an overlord figure even within the entire Martial Heaven continent. This is Yu Kingsuan's father? No wonder he could give birth to such a beautiful daughter. As expected, only good bamboo can give birth to good bamboo shoots. Despite being extremely disgusted with Pill Valley, Long Chen had to admit that this Yu Ziaoyan possessed an expert's heir. Regretfully, he was fated to be Long Chen's enemy. Yu Ziaoyan nodded and looked at the Aldevil monster. It's impossible for you to break out of the seal on your own. I suppose someone found the seal and released you. Correct ha ha ha. A decent person has finally come out. You have the same blazing blood flowing through your veins as Lord Brahma. This scent is very familiar. I can finally kill a true descendant of Lord Brahma. Ha ha ha. The Aldevil monster laughed. After laughing, it suddenly opened its mouth, and a sphere of light shot through the air, instantly appearing in front of Yu Ziaoyan. Yu Ziaoyan's expression was calm. He extended a hand, and immortal light flowed over it. With a single palm, he blew apart the same attack that had killed hundreds of life star experts. There wasn't even the slightest ripple in the process. Seeing him easily resolve the monster's attack, the surviving life star experts looked at him reverently. You're worthy of being Lord Brahma's descendant. Then I'll let you experience my Aldevil race's innate divine abilities. The monster's scale suddenly lit up, and its tail raised. A golden light formed on the tip of its tail. When that light appeared, the world began to shake uneasily. We've long since experienced the divine abilities of your Aldevil race, and we're not interested. This place is too small, so I'm sorry to tell you that I'm going to attack now. Yu Ziaoyan formed hand seals, and two pillars of light soared in the distance. A divine aura filled the world. That place is, the statues of their gods. Long Chen's expression changed. Be suppressed. Yu Ziaoyan coldly spat out two words. Those two rays of divine light coiled together and formed a huge net that bound the Aldevil monster. You bastards Lord Brahma and Fallen Day Knight. Traitors like you who betray their masters and ancestors definitely won't have a good ending. The Aldevil monster was unable to resist at all. The divine net bounded and rapidly shrank. Boom. Eventually, its body exploded under the pressure of the net. Its blood filled the air. Yu Ziaoyan took out two bottles. Powerful suction force absorbed the blood and runes that flew out. The Aldevil race is very powerful. These two bottles contain its essence blood and soul essence respectfully. They're priceless treasures. So send them to the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. Yu Ziaoyan tossed the two bottles to a Grand Elder. It's regretful that the Heaven Dragon Flame region is essentially ruined now. We'll have to make our distribution of Earth Flames more stringent. All right. I'll leave the rest to you. Yu Ziaoyan turned to leave. Father. Just at this moment, a clear cry rang out and a figure rushed over and threw herself into his embrace. It was the beautiful Pill Fairy. She tightly hugged her father. You've grown up. I wasn't able to be a good father to you. Yu Ziaoyan's imposing face now revealed a rare loving expression, as well as self-blame. It's been three years, so of course I've grown up. Father, have you finally come out of seclusion? Asked the Pill Fairy eagerly. No, not yet. This is just a clone and it needs to merge back with my main body quickly, or it'll affect my progress. Kingsuan, I'm sorry. After cultivating for so long, I wasn't able to accompany you as you grew. Apologized Yu Ziaoyan. Father, I'm fine. I have many friends who accompany me, and I'm not lonely. Go back into seclusion. I look forward to seeing you succeed. Yu Kingsuan smiled, but the disappointment in her eyes couldn't be hidden. Yu Ziaoyan sighed. He turned and left, leaving behind the pill fairy in the air. 
Although there were many experts below, Yu Kingsuan still felt she was alone. In her loneliness, for some reason, a face with a mischievous smile appeared in her mind. Chapter 1378 Meeting on the Battlefield? Translator. Born to be that face was handsome, but when it smiled, it looked a bit wicked. His eyes were always bright and clear enough for people to see his heart. Once her father left, the pill fairy slowly descended to the ground. At this time, a grand elder ordered, hurry and send people to the Heaven Dragon Flame region to investigate what happened inside and see if any disciples are still alive. Immediately, several elders rushed off to gather other disciples. The Heaven Dragon Flame region's entrance was restricted by a formation so only Jade Core disciples and below could enter. However, some elders were already shaking their heads. That Aldevil monster had been too terrifying. Even with the Grand Formation suppressing it, it had killed hundreds of Life Star experts. Furthermore, considering how furious it had been, it must have started a slaughter as soon as it escaped from its seal. The chances of any of those disciples surviving were minuscule. Wait, someone saw Long San before this. He's still alive, cried an elder. When Long Chen had fled after he had come out of the Heaven Dragon Flame region with the Aldevil monster, several experts had seen him as they had rushed over. It couldn't be that he was the one who unleashed that monster, wondered someone. Long Chen cursed. Did they really have to randomly guess around? Fuck. They actually got it right in one guess. At this time, his smartest option was to run as fast as possible. But he was still worried. And in the end, he didn't slip away. The pill fairy was shocked to hear this and was delighted. She had thought that Long San had already died in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. Send out orders to capture Long San. Whether or not he has anything to do with that monster, we have to capture him first, shouted a Grand Elder. That Grand Elder was from the conservative faction. At this time, the Grand Elder who had been given the two bottles handed them to Zhuo Xiang, Protector Zhuo. Go send these to the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. Also, alert our side to capture Long San immediately if he's alive. I want him captured. If he's dead, I want to see his corpse. We must find him. This final message was sent spiritually. Zhuo Xiangxiang nodded and carefully took the two bottles. These two bottles were priceless treasures. Most importantly, that Grand Elder had been telling him to make sure their side found Long San before the others. First. They would figure out what happened from him, and if the truth was unfavorable for them, they would eliminate him right there and then. Otherwise, they could continue raising them. The situation in the Heaven Dragon Flame region had gone far astray of what they had planned. Originally, they had been planning on using this opportunity to reverse their disadvantage, but as a result, all their troops had been annihilated. This matter was huge. If Long San was found by the conservative faction, and he told them that he had learned of the sinister plot of the radical faction and decided to release that monster in his despair, they would be doomed. Thus, they had to find him first. For the Grand Elder to say that he wanted Long San captured alive or dead was clearly telling Zhuo Xiangxiang what he needed. Zhuo Xiangxiang didn't tarry and he flew away, but he didn't go straight to the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. Instead, he went to his own residence. Important things had to be done first. Sending these treasures over could be done sooner or later, but Long San had to be captured immediately. This would decide whether they lived or died. So he had to alert all his confidants to capture Long San and bring him here immediately. Protectors Huo, I found you. Disciple has something major to report. Zhuo Xiangxiang had only just arrived at his residence when Long San came crashing in, panicked and terrified. Seeing Long San send himself to him. Zhuo Xiangxiang was delighted. Long San was bowing toward him, and Zhuo Xiangxiang didn't hesitate. A large hand reached toward his throat. First, he would capture Long San and then decide what to do with him. Just as Zhuo Xiangxiang's hand was about to reach Long Chen's neck and seal his cultivation base, a fiery red sword stabbed through Zhuo Xiangxiang's chest. Zhuo Xiangxiang, now do you know who I am? Long Chen poured a golden flame through the sword into Zhuo Xiangxiang's chest. He was instantly enveloped by flames. You are, Long Chen. At this time, Long Chen no longer bothered to change his voice, 
and Zhuo Xiangxiang immediately recognized him. He was filled with fury. Back then, he had suspected Long San to be Long Chen, but after all kinds of proof, he had finally convinced himself that they weren't the same people. Now, the truth was laid bare in front of him. Long San was indeed Long Chen. His current emotions could not be described with words. Bastard, you dare to trick me. Zhuo Xiangxiang suddenly slammed a palm toward Long Chen. All Long Chen did was tilt the sword in his hand. The power of an ancestral item burst forth within Zhuo Xiangxiang's body, blowing him up. No, all that remained of Zhuo Xiangxiang was his Yuan spirit. It was bound in golden flames and being incinerated. Long Chen's sudden attack had also heavily injured his Yuan spirit. Long Chen took a spatial ring and instantly left. Protector Zhuo, what is it? Long Chen had only just left when others heard the disturbance and rushed over. They saw a ball of golden flames burning in the air. At first, they could hear Zhuo Xiangxiang screaming, but in less than a breath's time, his Yuan spirit was incinerated into nothingness. This is the legendary heaven incinerating flame. Someone cried out in shock and terror. This is bad. Protector Zhuo has been slain. Hurry and report it to the higher ups. Only at this moment did someone react and hastily go to report this. With the treasures in hand, Long Chen happily decided to leave Pill Valley. He hadn't suffered all those grievances for nothing. He had finally gotten his payback. Just at this moment, the sound of a bell rang throughout Pill Valley. A majestic voice could be heard screaming. The traitor Long San has stolen the treasures of the Thousand Treasure Pavilion. His crimes are reprehensible, and all disciples are to move out to arrest him. Long Chen was startled. He had been noticed this quickly? He immediately dived into some bushes and wiped some new elixir on his face, changing his appearance. In just a moment, he had become a different person. Checking in a mirror, he adjusted some details. He had become a different disciple of the Divine Pill Hall. That disciple was from the Divine Spear Alliance, and Long Chen's impression of him was extremely strong because this person's mouth was extremely malicious. He had wanted to kill him several times, but had never had an excuse to do so. It just so happened that he could use his face now. Everyone, be on the lookout for Long San. Quick, capture Long San what the fuck. Long Chen was shouting as he ran to prove that he was working for Pill Valley when he saw another person rushing over. They had only just crossed paths when that person turned back to look at him questioningly. That person's expression suddenly changed, and he was about to cry out. It's forbidden to fart here. Long Chen immediately attacked, blasting that foundation forging disciple into blood mist. That person was truly unlucky. He was precisely the person Long Chen had disguised himself as. The original had met the imposter, and the imposter had eliminated the original. Now. The imposter could truly take the place of the original. After killing that person, Long Chen truly felt refreshed. Could it be that this fellow had wanted him to be able to leave without regrets? He had even sent himself to Long Chen. Everyone, work hard. Long San is definitely still in Pill Valley. We have to find him. Long Chen ran straight through Pill Valley openly. He was heading to the outer regions. On his way, he saw countless disciples searching for him. If an inner disciple or outer disciple found him, they would be directly rewarded with a divine pill hall spot. That was the award that had just been announced. So all of Pill Valley was chaotic, and Long Chen was running within the chaos, shouting louder than anyone. Brothers, don't limit your line of thinking. Long San might not necessarily be hiding in a building. He could be hiding in a cluster of flowers, a crevice in some stones, anywhere shouted Long Chen as he ran. Many thanks, senior apprentice brother from the Divine Pill Hall. Your golden words of wisdom are appreciated. If this little one has the fortune of joining the Divine Pill Hall, I will definitely work as a dog for senior someone immediately began to bootlick. I can only help you so much. Work hard. I look favorably upon you, encouraged Long Chen without the slightest shame. These disciples almost wept tears of gratitude and they all split up, looking in all the various secluded places. Brother, I need some help. Following one of them into a secluded place, Long Chen called out to this outer disciple, Senior Apprentice Brother, what is it? Long Chen knocked him unconscious, 
Don't you dream of becoming a divine pill hall disciple? Here, let me achieve your dream for you. Long Chen switched his robes with that disciple and changed his appearance. He randomly tossed him in a bird's nest on a tree. When he woke, he'd realize his dreams had come true. Confirming there were no mistakes with his new disguise, he began to stealthily creep away on a secluded path. However, before he could get far, a figure blocked his path. When he saw that person, Long Chen couldn't help but sigh. The person he had wanted to avoid the most had appeared. Why did you do this? The pill fairy was as beautiful as ever, but her gaze was full of disappointment now. Just looking at her current expression would break a person's heart. Long Chen knew that there was no way any of his disguises would be able to trick the pill fairy. I have my reasons, sighed Long Chen. The pill fairy was silent for a moment. She shook her head, slowly extending a hand. Long Chen sighed deeply. In the end, was he really about to face the pill fairy on the battlefield? Chapter 1379 Killing His Way Out of Pill Valley Translator Born to be Long Chen was on guard. He felt very conflicted toward the pill fairy because he knew she was a good person. If he wasn't Long Chen, the two of them would be good friends. But in the end, the two of them had to face each other. Long Chen was clear on just how terrifying the pill fairy was. When the two of them had joined hands to kill Xuan Jizi, Xuan Jizi had been killed in one blow. Even his Yuan spirit hadn't escaped. In Long Chen's current state, he still wasn't able to instantly destroy a life star expert's Yuan spirit. Although he had killed Suo Xiangxiang, one reason was because it had been a sneak attack, and the other reason was because he had used an ancestral item. Furthermore, without the heaven incinerating flame, Zhuo Xiangxiang's Yuan spirit would have managed to escape. It was clear that there was an obvious power gap between the two of them. Seeing the pill fairy extend her hand, Long Chen took a deep breath. He prepared himself for a bloody battle with this peerless beauty. Unexpectedly, the pill fairy wasn't extending her hand to unleash an attack. Instead, she handed him a jade pendant. This is my jade pendant and my token of trust. Only by using it can you get through the layer of blockades outside, said the pill fairy. Long Chen didn't dare to believe this. He couldn't understand why the pill fairy would help him. Why? Seeing his astonishment, the pill fairy smiled. Are you very curious? In truth, I'm also very curious. I very much dislike the current pill valley with its raging schemes and internal fighting. But you are a good person who made me feel a warmth I've never felt before. I've already sent Duan Xiang Kiyo's ashes to the eastern wasteland, so this is the only thing I can do for you now. Take it. The pill fairy pressed the jade pendant into Long Chen's hand. It was still warm, and the pill fairy's scent still lingered on it. Long Chen wasn't able to describe what exactly he was feeling in his heart at this moment. He truly wished the pill fairy was a sharp and unkind woman like Dan Yangsu. He would be able to fight all out against such a person. But the pill fairy wasn't such a woman. Despite knowing he was her enemy, she was helping him leave. He didn't know what to do. You'll be caught up in my trouble if you do this. You'll be seen as a criminal by Pill Valley, said Long Chen. Even at this time, you're thinking of me, said the pill fairy softly. I don't like owing favors. My life is full of trouble and misfortune. And if I one day caused a huge calamity and died, I won't be able to repay you. Long Chen bitterly smiled. I don't need your favor, but I feel like you're a good person I should help. For example, when you helped Wan Qing, did you ever once think of getting anything from her? For a little girl, you would challenge Jiang Zijin to a life and death battle. Did you once think about the consequences? Now I'm the same. I feel like there are some things that I should do, so I'll do them. Go. Even with my jade pendant. You won't be able to escape that easily. Pill Valley's power far surpasses your imagination seeing her pure eyes. Long Chen nodded. He felt great admiration for people like the Pill Fairy who were still pure-hearted and kind. I owe you a favor. Long Chen sighed and accepted the Jade Pendant. He bowed toward the Pill Fairy once and then left. Seeing him go into the distance, sadness appeared in the Pill Fairy's eyes. It was just as she had said. She was only able to help so much. She couldn't guarantee that Long San would be able to live. Long Chen rushed off, quickly reached the exit of Pill Valley. The two divine statues were standing there. 
One was Fallen Daynight. One was Lord Brahma. Fuck. Why do I find you so hateful when I look at you? Long Chen looked around and saw that there was no one present. He suddenly shot toward one of the statue's heads. Boom. Long Chen punched the statue. But suddenly, a barrier appeared around it. They were actually protected by a formation. And Long Chen was blown back, coughing up blood. His arm almost broke. As expected. It seems that these two statues are very important to Pill Valley. I can't break them, but I suppose crapping on their heads would be doable. Right. Long Chen had a sudden thought. However, the statue was too tall. Long Chen wasn't able to poop that high up. Fine. I lower the difficulty a stream of liquid fell on Fallen Day Night and Lord Brahma's statues. Long Chen was extremely fair. He shared his wealth without being biased to either side. After finishing this, Long Chen pulled up his pants and rushed off. This path was extremely long. He didn't run into any guards on his way. He quickly reached the end, and there were countless experts there. Runes covered the sky. They had long since set up a huge net. It was no wonder the higher-ups had only allowed the disciples to search within Pill Valley. They had already sealed the exit. Who's there? Stop. As soon as Long Chen appeared, over ten life star experts went over to him. Your father, Long Chen's reply was a flame sphere. The 300 meter sphere shot out like a shooting star. He's definitely Long San. Capture him. These experts immediately deduced that this person wearing the robes of an outer disciple had to be Long San. Long Chen's flame sphere exploded, and golden flames raged. Fuck. This is. It's the legendary heaven incinerating flame. These experts had flame runes revolving around them. But even these flame runes were ignited by the heaven incinerating flame. Startled cries rang out. The life star experts were all right. After a moment of panic, they used their powerful spiritual strength and spiritual yuan to isolate the heaven incinerating flame. However, soul transformation experts were unable to do the same. They were simply burned to a crisp. The thing that terrified them was that when they used their flame runes to resist, it was just like adding oil to the fire. The burning grew even more intense. But if they didn't resist, they would simply be standing there as they were roasted. The life star experts immediately helped the others. The flames were extinguished. But many were killed in just that moment. Their Yuan spirits were incinerated along with their physical bodies. Where'd Long San go? It took a long time for them to suppress the flames. Of the thousands of experts, only a few hundred remained. During the chaos, Long San had vanished. He activated the transportation formation impossible. We closed the transportation formation a long time ago. Who activated it? Elder Lu has been killed. Long San definitely did an instantaneous soul sark and learned how to activate the formation on his own. One of the elders went over to a corpse that had been burned to a crisp. There was a hole on that corpse's forehead. I heard this Long San's soul was strange. It seems we underestimated him. Most unexpected of all is that he possesses the heaven incinerating flame. What should we do? Just go report it and ask for reinforcements. Even if he got past us, there's no need to worry. There's still another gate past this formation. Boom. Long Chen smashed a huge cauldron into the transportation formation he exited. There were thousands of experts surrounding this transportation formation. But Long Chen had appeared suddenly and they reacted a bit slow, allowing Long Chen to destroy the transportation formation behind him. This couldn't be blamed on them. They were sure that the inside of Pill Valley was full of experts, and a single Divine Pill Hall disciple would be easy to capture. The only reason so many of them were here was a display of power to enemies. Although they looked tense on the surface, they were randomly chatting spiritually. As a result, when Long Chen appeared and destroyed the transportation formation, they were all dumbfounded. Long Chen sighed in relief. He finally had a chance to breathe. Pill Valley was huge, and there was quite some distance between this transportation formation and the one at the exit. This person is Long San. Capture him, shouted a life star expert. All the guards immediately attacked. A huge barrier enveloped all of them. Raging flames devour the heavens. Long Chen formed hand seals, and this barrier became filled with golden flames. Those people had only just started rushing over when they were enveloped by the flames, their bodies instantly igniting. 
Those experts let out mournful cries. Four life star experts charged through the flames. To reciprocate, Long Chen slashed a sword, and its immense power forced them back. Damn it, this flame is. Everyone's expressions changed as they recognized this legendary flame. Open the barrier, let them get out of the region of these flames, or they'll be killed, roared a soul transformation expert. He himself was already starting to reach his limit. We can't. If we open the barrier, Long San will get away. The few life star experts were still able to endure. They didn't care about the others. They knew that as long as they could keep Long Chen here, Pill Valley's reinforcements would quickly arrive. At that time, they would have contributed a great service. Moreover, if they opened the barrier to save these people, Long San would get away, and they would have to bear the responsibility. So they didn't care about these people any longer. Several life star experts attacked Long Chen while resisting the heaven incinerating flame. The best possible situation was for them to capture Long San themselves. However, he had an ancestral item, and adding on that they were all flame element cultivators and that Long Chen's flame was the heaven incinerating flame ranked third on the earth flame ranking, they were unable to capture him. I can't waste time with them. Long Chen knew that the longer he stayed here, the more dangerous it would become. Just the heaven incinerating flame was unable to menace life star experts. Boom. Long Chen suddenly slashed his sword, forcing them back. A pot appeared in his hand, and he smashed it at the barrier. Chapter 1380 Once more going to the heaven devouring forest translator. Born to be boom. The transparent barrier was struck by the pot. Black spots of rust flew up, and a large hole appeared in the incredibly powerful barrier. Long Chen immediately rushed through. There were four huge flying boats parked in the distance. Pill Valley really is kind. They even arranged a boat for me. I'm so emotional. Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy. He directly pulled three of the flying boats into the primal chaos space and jumped onto the fourth one. Stay behind. The life star experts were shocked that Long Chen had escaped the barrier. They immediately charged after him. Flame runes circulated forming a huge flame wall in front of him. It's okay. I'm busy. I won't be staying for dinner. How about the next time I'm free? Long Chen laughed and extended his arm. A huge golden flame dragon appeared in the sky. The golden dragon immediately opened its mouth, and its dragon breath spurted toward the wall. A huge hole appeared in the flame wall. Long Chen activated the flying boat and shot away, instantly vanishing. Damn it. We actually let him get away. The life star experts were enraged. They had definitely messed up. Despite all of them working together, they hadn't been able to stop a single Jade Core brat. They would probably have to suffer severe punishment after this. Suddenly, space trembled. Flying boats appeared one by one. This aura, it's the Flame Divine Palace's 18 Divine Guards. Those experts looked toward those flying boats with shock. They had no idea what had happened in Pill Valley. But seeing Pill Valley mobilize the 18 Divine Guards for a single Jade Core Disciple shocked them. Even at this life and death juncture, you still think of me and refuse to implicate me. Long San, you're really such a person. At some unknown time, the Pill Fairy had appeared in the surroundings. She looked questioningly at the sky, her eyes containing an emotion difficult to describe with words. The Jade Pendant she had given Long Chen was a protective talisman but Long San hadn't used it. Instead, he had used his own power to kill his way out. The Pill Fairy was grateful for this, but if this was learned by others, they might die from rage, especially those experts that had already been killed by Long Chen's heaven incinerating flame. They would probably die again from rage. Could it be that just because he had power, he could be so willful? Wasn't this just showing off? Long Chen didn't want to implicate the Pill Fairy because the Pill Fairy was a good person. He would rather handle the danger himself. Another reason was that he was someone who would definitely repay favors. The Pill Fairy's actions had made it so no matter if he used or not, he would still owe her a favor. However, if he used it, he would not only owe a favor, but he would have also implicated her. He wasn't afraid of heaven or earth, but he was afraid of owing favors. They've caught up this quickly. Long Chen was shocked. Although he couldn't see anything behind him, he could sense danger rapidly approaching. Clenching his teeth, 
He instantly increased the speed of the flying boat to its peak. Normally, a flying boat needed to accelerate slowly to avoid damaging it. However, Long Chen couldn't bother caring about that right now. In any case, he had stolen it. So if it broke, he wouldn't need to feel any pain. The flying boat was like a meteor shooting through the air. But in an incense stick's worth of time, over ten other flying boats had appeared, slowly getting closer. Fuck, they can actually increase the speed even more. Seeing the flames spurting out of their flying boats, Long Chen felt like he had been conned. The truth was that these flying boats were all equipped with the ability to attack, defend, and accelerate, but they all required powerful flame energy to be inserted into certain installations. Back in the heaven-devouring forest, Zhuo Xiangxiang and the others had used one of those installations to scare away the tree demons. The heaven-devouring forest? Right, that's a good spot. Long Chen's eyes suddenly brightened. He hastily took out a map and was delighted. He was just about to reach the heaven-devouring forest. Long San, you won't get away. Let yourself be captured peacefully, or you'll be killed. There was still a thousand miles between them but that person's voice rang out very clearly. He had to possess a powerful cultivation base. He was most likely one of the 18 divine guards. What a joke. Do you think Master Long San would surrender? Idiots from the radical faction. After using me, you want to get rid of me? You scammers. You're shameless trash. You tricked me into killing the elite disciples of the Divine Shield Alliance in the Heaven Dragon Flame region. And then you told Dan Yangsu and Kan Dongs to kill me so no one would know. Did you think turning me into a vengeful ghost would allow you to live happily? Fuck your grand dreams. I'm not going to let you get away with it. Since you want me dead, I'll make you pay a price. Although Long Chen's voice wasn't very loud, since he was the one at the front, his voice still reached the ones behind him. Long Chen's words immediately caused quite a few people's expressions to change. One person roared, Long San, don't talk nonsense. After committing such crimes, randomly accusing others won't let you escape that person was precisely an elder from the radical faction who possessed great authority. His position was only slightly lower than a grand elder, so he knew the real plan involving Long San. There were hundreds of life star experts on these flying boats, and although the majority were flame cultivators from the Divine Flame Hall, there were also alchemists. After all, the Thousand Treasure Pavilion had been pilfered, Zhuo Xiangxiang had been slain, and the Aldevil monster's essence blood and soul essence had been taken. Pill Valley had never suffered such an insult. If they didn't capture Long San, they would become the laughingstocks of the cultivation world. Thus, there were also experts from the conservative faction that were all infuriated upon hearing Long Chen's words. Talking nonsense? All right, then let me show you something. This is proof of how you baited me. I've kept it all this time. Did you really think I was an idiot? Since you wanted to kill me, and since I won't be alive soon anyways, I'll make your ugly faces public. People from the conservative faction, look properly. These photographic jades are for you. As for whether you can grab them or not, it'll be up to your own skill. Long Chen tossed out hundreds of photographic jades behind him. Bastard. One of the elders immediately extended a hand to unleash a powerful attack, but as a result, another elder blocked him. What? Do you have a guilty heart? You want to destroy evidence. The photographic jades were rapidly snatched up. Although the radical faction's experts accidentally broke a large portion of them, there were more than ten that landed in the hands of others, and five in the hands of the conservative faction. An elder activated the photographic jade revealing a scene of Kan Dong's giving a list of people to Long San and telling him to kill them. He also mentioned the benefits he would obtain if he eliminated them all. Good. Very good. I didn't expect you to actually be so despicable. The conservative faction's people were enraged. A portion of the recording came from within the Heaven Dragon Flame region, and there was no way it was fake. There were scenes of Kan Dong's and Dan Yangsu. The chances of it being fake were essentially zero. Don't bother with the veracity of these photographic jades for now. We have to handle Pill Valley's matters first. As for whether or not it's the truth, we can discuss it when we get back. Arguing about this doesn't have any meaning right now. First capture Long San. 
We must take back what he stole. He has the treasures Pill Valley accumulated over tens of thousands of years. If we don't capture him, none of us will be able to give an explanation seeing that both sides were about to start fighting. One of the Divine Guards hastily interrupted. The conservative faction's elders were fine with this. As long as this proof remained in their hands, they weren't worried about the radical faction getting away. Furthermore, Long San had truly been vicious. He had plundered the Thousand Treasure Pavilion, including the secret treasure room. The Grand Elders had ordered them to capture him at any cost. So they had mobilized the 18 Divine Guards and hundreds of Life Star experts for a single Jade Core disciple. This kind of lineup was truly terrifying. Then again, this was very reasonable. This Jade Core disciple had drawn over a monster that had almost destroyed Pill Valley. If it hadn't been for the Valley Master personally interfering, Pill Valley would have been annihilated. Now, Pill Valley had been half destroyed. Over a hundred Life Star experts had been slain. The Thousand Treasure Pavilion had been pilfered. And most infuriating of all, the two priceless treasures the Valley Master had obtained by slaying the monster had also been snatched away. That made them crazy with fury. Boom. Suddenly, one of the pursuing flying boat's runes lit up, and a blazing arrow smashed into the back of Long Chen's flying boat. His flying boat flipped through the air, and Long Chen hastily controlled the flying boat, finally stabilizing it with great difficulty. The flying boats behind him had shortened the gap. He noticed another flying boat's runes light up. It was clearly preparing an attack. Haha, <laughs> we've arrived. Suddenly, the sky darkened. Long Chen was delighted. The heaven-devouring forest was right ahead. Long Chen's flying boat's runes immediately exploded as Long Chen used a self-destructive acceleration tool. The flying boats behind him were thrown back into the distance. After using this acceleration tool, the flying boat would only be able to continue flying for an incense's stick worth of time before being completely ruined. Long Chen had an evil smile as he stood atop the flying boat. A huge flame sphere rapidly grew in his right hand. Tree idiots of the heaven devouring forest. Today, my pill valley is going to show you who the real master of this world is. If you have any gods, get the hell out here, roared Long Chen so loudly that the entire forest trembled. 